I'm good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go, lesbians. Let's go, lesbians. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Into the Multiverse. Uh, Into the Multiverse is a series of D&D campaigns all set in the world of Gostar. Wonderful ball sack world dripping from the elemental chaos. Uh, and each campaign that we play uh, is set in an alternate timeline or a different reality. And this one follows the story of the PP Rebellion. So, um, before I do a little recap, we'll do a quick series of introductions on all the characters here. Um, a few people are going to be missing for this game, but it's going to be quite a chill, relaxed game where people are wrapping up um, and preparing for the journey ahead. They're wrapping up and leaving Orkill, which is a city that everyone's been in for quite some time. Um, so this, this uh, game hopefully is just going to be a nice, chill game where you're going to be going through all the little bits and bobs you want to do before you prepare to leave the town. So to start things off, uh, Sharis, would you like to introduce Rayo? Um, <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharis, and I play Rael, who is a changeling paladin and follows the Oath of Glory. Uh, I keep forgetting to say it every week, but he's dad number one of the group. <laughs> he's the disciplinary dad. <laughs> yes. uh, last session, he had a very nice emotional moment with Shahil, and they seem to have bonded a bit more, which is really nice. And uh, he and Quill also defeated a dreamer monster so woo, <laughs> let's yeah go, let's that was be... cool <laughs> <laughs> oh and then i was destroyed yeah let's yeah go. <laughs> you destroyed another eye of the dreamer amazing yeah. brilliant thank you very much Harris. uh next we have yourself uh cat playing quill zorikar zorik 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 you go take it away zorik zorik here zorik it's here. okay it's like most names it's hard to pronounce any name <laughs> um, hi I'm Kat, I play Quill, um, she's a feebling bard, part-time rogue, and she's like mom slash wine aunt, depending on if Melody's gonna <laughs> be vibing with us, depending. Um, she has a, a nine foot tall son, lizard man, <laughs> uh, and she causes trouble accidentally, but also sometimes on purpose. <laughs> Yay, um, so... oh she sees ghosts! She does see ghosts. Just, just, just a forewarning. <laughs> She's dead people. All the time. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, thank you very much, Kat. Um, yeah. Now, um, Maggie unfortunately can't be with us today. She's very, uh, she's not feeling great. Uh, so Maggie plays Oscar Magnolian. Does anyone want to do a little introduction for Oscar? Or I might try to give it a try. But yeah. Let's see how well I do. <clears throat> Maggie, if you're tuning in, I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, and I'm Maggie McCann. Now, I play Oscar uh, Magnolium. He's a furbolg who who's a druid who follows the circle of dreams. Um, I, I, I like pies and frogs, and that's all I got. He's <laughs> 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 also dad number two. Oh, he's, he's dad number two. He's a fun-loving fun dad <laughs> <laughs> who likes cuddles. <laughs> that is uh, currently... Being scared of being naked? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened during last week. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and it's very important that we know the dads of the group because, you know, obviously today is Father's Day. So it's going to be a small bit of a Father's Day episode as well. <clears throat> Once they sleep and it's the next day, then it's Father's Day. Don't <laughs> yes, true. Uh, yeah, currently it's, it's, it's the morning. Next day in the game, it'll be Father's Day. Father's Day. All right. Sorry, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, and next, uh, we have yourself, Marissa. You're playing Wisteria Spoons. Hello, I am Marissa. I play Wisteria Spoons. Uh, she's an albino winged tiefling. Um, she's an arcana cleric. Uh, currently, she doesn't have bubbles with her. She's got timey and uh, fish with her, and yeah, she's just kind of vibing. Uh, she's finally revealed her tail, which is great news, I'm guessing. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's about it. We're just chilling, pretty much, just mm. vibing. She, oh, 
And the recent discovery is that she thinks that Serafina is trying to protect her with her entire life. So that's going to be a nice development for the next game. There's so many dumb gays in this temple. Oh my god, yeah. 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 big pool of gays. Like, literally right now, you're in a pool filled with gays. It's... We are, yeah. With a primordial you put a bunch gaze. of gays in one game and, like, it's right. just nuclear explosion. <laughs> Just Amazing. rainbows everywhere. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, all right. And next we've got um, Cass, who will be joining us shortly, um, who plays Shaheel. Does anyone do an introduction for, for Cass? Hell yeah. Go Let's it. go. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> What's up, chat? My name is Cass, also known as Cassiel, and I play the bard and part time warlock, Shahil, who's a dick. Uh, no, in all seriousness, though, uh, he had a very, very emotional time yesterday. He has been freed from tears, rasp, mm. and his shackles on his horns broke. And fell off. Whoa. So he is a free man, and he's uh, he had his hair cut by Rael. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a hug and a kiss, <laughs> and he's he's a very very soft boy at the moment. So he <laughs> let's so go. Nice. He is. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> but the game must go on, I suppose. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm joking. Uh, he. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully this is the beginning of a nice, healthy relationship between him and his patron. Because typically, you don't get that very often in D&D. Um, &D. No. Warlocks typically have a very awkward relationship with their patrons. But now, mm. Tyr... There's respect all around. Yeah, the Fey Lord of, the, of Jotunheim, which you are all heading towards, you're heading to Jotunheim. He has gained a new level of respect and understands that Shaheel, Rael, and the rest of the party probably the only ones who can save him now um and so he's putting his his fate in uh all down to the gaze yeah <laughs> <laughs> everything <laughs> depends on the primordial soup of gaze <laughs> <sighs> i honestly think tear will change his mind the moment that he sees like his descendants maybe <laughs> just maybe looks at uh, mysterian ghostly and just goes oh. <laughs> You could be worse. I take it all back. <laughs> this you is my legacy. <laughs> oh no. Gay and dumb. <laughs> it worked hard to have. Amazing. Uh, and then Patema, we do not know if Patema will be joining us or not, but Patema um, plays Ghostly O'Keefe. Does anyone want to try to do a Ghostly O'Keefe impression or introduction? I can, I can do an attempt otherwise. I could, I could try. I don't want to butcher it, so I'm not even going to try. I'm going to let Shara do this one. Okay. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm probably going to fuck it up. All right. I've done Ghostly's intro, so <laughs> let, let's see Sharas. Yeah, 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 we've yeah. got We've got a rotor. Okay, because yeah. Cash usually does it, so... Mm. <laughs> uh, oh god. <laughs> You've got this, bro. Embrace the cockney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. There's Cass. There he is. Um, Oh, I'm Ghostly O'Keefe. I'm the most powerful wizard, so I am. Um, I have a chicken called Wisteria Junior, and uh, kissed a turtle. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> so Ghostly O'Keefe, as well as our um, eight intelligence wizard, so uh, Ghostly O'Keefe has a minus one in intelligence. So spells like Ghostly Cast often go awry. Uh, Usually something terrible will happen or something completely wacky and ridiculous. And maybe one day uh, Ghostly might accidentally summon a unicorn, but we'll see. Hopefully. <laughs> give, give us the unicorn. What a good timing if it happens on her wedding day. Oh, that would be that lovely. Would be okay, nice. listen, that would right be off so on a unicorn. cute. <laughs> Wait, the unicorn is the, um, is the minister. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like James Baxter. He's the one who's unicorn. ordained his wedding. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, um, Ev, or Sophie, is playing Serafina, but I'm not sure if um, Ev will be able to make it uh, this session. And then I am Ev, and I play Serafina. <laughs> She's a, a lesbian. Um, that's her only weakness. She is actually really, really strong, but when women are involved, it is just hell. <laughs> um, thank you very much. I won't be here today. <laughs> Thank you, Ev. It's I a shame guess. that you will not be here today, but thank you for coming all this way to do your introduction and, and everything. You're welcome, you're oh, welcome. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> also, my name is Gabriel Galway. I am the DM or the dungeon master. I tell and write the stories, build the world, put every other character in here. I play all the other characters that this party meets, this band of heroes. And um, this party moves through the world and I improvise or write uh, the world around them as they travel through it. Um, a lot of it's pre-planned already, but um, you know, most of the time I'm improvising just because it's so hard to predict what people will do. Um, currently in the party, I play Glog, a nine foot tall, a lizard man, I, who has one arm, and I have one eye, and I love, love to kill people. I mean, peanut butter. Uh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Melody. <laughs> Uh, Melody is a, a Medusa. I used to work for Lilith, the Vine Queen, uh, one of the Faelords of the Vale, or the Faelord of the Vale, who has now been slaughtered by this wonderful party. So now I assist them, and I am Oscar's plus one and, and wing woman uh, through all his love endeavors. Um, and then finally, that's, that's kind of it. There's a bunch of other people in the town that everyone's met, and we'll probably be meeting some of them soon. But for now, I'll just do a quick recap. Um, you've been in Orko for just less than a week, maybe five days or so. Um, and during your time here, you've robbed, you've been captured, you've gone uh, on heists, you've taken out the thieves' guild, you've bought hundreds of chickens and given them to the poor, uh, been criminals and then been heroes, been detectives, and now you've come to saving or kill from the kind of counselor, uh, the advisor of all the kings and queens who have passed, uh, Walter Blackvine, who ended up finding out that he was, you know, he's the son of uh, Titus, another Faelord of uh, the Plaguelands, or Guinea. Um, but he transformed into a black dragon, not really sure what he is or what he's got to do. Uh, you all convinced him as well that following the path of Zachariel, the dreamer, a big elder Taro god, uh, um, who's kind of the big bad of this campaign? Um, following him was not the the right path, and you um, you helped him out, and he's taken off now to figure out who he is exactly. And you've left Orkill now saved and at peace, and you've been rewarded um, by the queen. You've been put up in this grand hotel in the nobles' district, uh, where you've now been uh, in the last game. You just had a wonderful time in the bathhouse. Um, and while here, you all kind of recuperated, had some kind of nice gay moments and everything else, which we've just kind of kind of gone through already. Uh, but at the very end, there was a, an Eye of the Dreamer. There's ten of these eyes that was at the bottom of this somewhat bottomless swimming pool. Uh, Quill found it. Rail and Quill went back down. They destroyed the eye and also destroyed the Eldritch Horror that lived at the bottom of this pool, defending it. And so now, with an empty pool, now all the water's evaporated and blown up, you all wrapped up the last game in one big group hug of celebration for all the things you've now achieved up until this point. Shahil, uh, you're now free from Tears grafts, your shackles are broken. Um, Quill, you've discovered a nice new little shield. And Rail, your sword and your powers from Demu have returned to you as well. And we're going to hop in here uh, and start the game. Oh, yeah. What would you all like to do? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we were just having a nice hug and stuff, weren't we? Yeah. Um, just wrapped up. The, the pool's got the big kind of crack through it now, but probably it'll be fine. Uh, someone will come in and repair it, I'm sure. Uh, and yeah, you're just kind of all naked at the moment, currently hugging each other <laughs> in the bottom of the pool. <laughs> Uh, some of you have towels, some don't. It's uh, nice. so, so a nice one. Nice. Never was a towel. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's currently will... being held by two gays, so it's okay. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Uh, I would like to to grab Rail's face. Yeah. Uh, kind of tightly, right? <laughs> um, and then he's gonna lean in. And he's kind. He's just. You just. You just. An, it, it, you make me worry a lot. You know that, right? Uh, he's quite, uh, eyes widened a bit, quite taken back <laughs> by that. <laughs> he's not really sure what to do. Um, 
He's just holding the the sword by him by his side, uh, eyes uh, flicking away and flicking to Shahil again, looking a bit flustered. Like I, I, I apologize. I, I guess I just have a tendency to go head first into things. I. Yes, it, you. You're not an idiot, but but you are an idiot. But I'm an idiot too. But it's okay. But just damn stop. right, you both <laughs> are. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's kind of resting. Of... She's resting her head on both of yours. She's just like, oh god, I'm tired. <laughs> kind of forgot the cool was there, and he's like, uh, mm, uh, yeah. yeah. Don't mind me. It's fine. <laughs> it's 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 fine now. Everything's fine. Let's just go back to having a good time. Okay, I'll just let me just put this away first. Now I'll take the sword. And I'm gonna actually I'm gonna I'm gonna stop off at uh mm -hmm. maybe the the cold pool that Quill was in. Yeah. For a minute with it? Yeah, perfect. So um, make your way over Yeah, I'd just like to uh kneel in front of the water, not really going in, sure. but uh just giving it a bit of a wash and a clean. Mm -hmm. Um so you can yeah, as you, as you kind of submerge it in the water as well, like that kind of dull copper blade. Again, the, the turquoise uh, and aquamarine gems inside this uh, bronze sword do begin to, to glow faintly, as if the water restores it somewhat. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's just going to very gently clean it and make sure it's all good. Um, have a smile on his face, uh, just giving a little bit of a whisper like, Thank you for... For giving me this chance, I appreciate it. As you're saying this as well to the water, that's kind of shimmering, and there's small little kind of like taps all around this pool that's kind of constantly refreshing it and keeping this water nice and cold. You see these two eyes open up inside the the water, the surface of the water. These two kind of serpent-like eyes, but even though they're these eyes of like you know a predator of sorts, this mm -hmm. um, snake-like being. There's something soft and soothing and calming in these eyes as they look up at you and just blink mm. slowly and the image disappears. And inside you, you do get the sense, you know, destroying a second eye now, Demu's powers are getting stronger and stronger slowly and slowly. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll just I'll just take it out and um, I'll I'll go to the locker room. All right. So over there. You kind of head back in the locker room, kind of pop away the sword, pop it back in its like big heavy sheath. It has gone heavy again, like obviously because it's mm. um, it's lost all this power after destroying one of the eyes. But uh, yeah, it's still it's still like it's not got this kind of dull lifeless uh sense about it that it had when you had lost your um connection to to demu there's something a little lighter and a little more um uh alive i guess about it mm -hmm. yeah he's just he's just smiling his shoulders relax a bit more uh just giving it a bit of a pat before uh returning to the others okay probably. so what's everyone else doing right now in the pool well the pool is empty <laughs> <laughs> Um, I will. I assume that Quell is still kind of in in Shahil's vicinity. If you're still holding me. I'm not moving. It, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, he's still holding. Just holding her. He's oh, holding okay. her very awkwardly. Like he doesn't really know how to fully support her. Like a skateboard um, or something. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> he's just gonna gonna look down and he's kind of giving her an eye over, hmm. um, and he's like, you know. Quill. Yes. Uh, what? What are you? Wister is just gonna like laugh at that question. <laughs> He's <laughs> just gonna sit on the floor and go, "This is interesting. Yeah, go for it. What are you?" <laughs> and what do you mean, like, why I have no heartbeat, or what race you, am I? You don't have a heartbeat. <laughs> no, I thought you knew this. No, I. Um, I know that. <clears throat> no, no, I don't know that. Well, um, you met yeah. my dad. He's a goblin. 
now a vampire. He was a goblin when he had me. So okay. I'm a goblin. Um, and my my mom was a tiefling. You know, she was a bard. Can you can you do that? Can you be different races? <laughs> 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 Well, that's amazing. I think it may have been a bit more awkward if my mum was a goblin and my dad was a tiefling, because... Oh, yeah. Because th the mechanics of that may hurt a bit more. There's not a lot of posters now that would, no. that would work for that. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of room. Yeah, well... But, because my mum was mm. a tiefling, I was, you know... I would mm. assume I was a small baby, I don't know. I died but... right after. But then how are you, you know, like, here, and not nasty? In the ground. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, I'd kind of have a weird mud smell to me. I don't think anyone's noticed. But... Oh, wait, do you? He's gonna... He's gonna sniff her. <laughs> He's gonna sniff her. <laughs> she smells like, like wet mud at this mm. point, I would assume. Yeah, you... wet mud and kind of ash. You smell slightly sooty as well. He, he's gonna... He's gonna try not to let it show on his face that he's kind of like, ugh. But he's like, oh, no, I think you, s you smell fine. Oh. Hell, honey, I know what I smell like. It's okay. Yeah, you, you, I... smell, you smell bad. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Oh, I love it. Amazing. Kind of happens when you, you get buried for 300 years. Um, yeah. But... But my dad made a wish with some coins or something to bring mm -hmm. both my mom and I back. Oh. And uh, it kind of fucked up with my mom and turned her into a horcrux. And a what? I came back kind of unscathed. Um, a ho is turn your mom into a whore? What? A horcrux. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. She oh. slept around, but not like this. Don't oh, yeah. no, I, I'm sorry. I didn't. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> A Horcrux. Okay. Her soul has been put into different objects. Oh. Okay. Like, what? um, the, the, the things that I have with me. The, the, the skull crystal. And... Oh, well, yeah. I, to be honest, I haven't really looked, looked at you before. I didn't really care. But I'm, That's I'm, fine. I'm, thank you. I'm trying. It, you're trying really hard, <laughs> and I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're, you're doing really great. It, yeah. Well, I... Should mm. we go back? Good. Yeah, we should put some clothes on. <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's gonna gently put her down. <laughs> I'll give you an inspiration cast. That was great. Oh, <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is the most endearing way I've heard you say whore in my yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> oh my god. He's so cute. Uh, <laughs> so cute. Hey, hey, Quill. What, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, are you both get getting changed, the pair of you? Is yeah. that... I think we would, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll bring you over. Oh, wait, uh... before I go, yeah. I was gonna ask, um, Grug. Before... The... Yeah. Um, because we're going, we're planning to go into a, a giant snow land okay. full of ice, will you be okay, or do you need clothes i know you don't like them because uh, you hated the, the, the fancy dress ones well my muscles are very big and anytime i wear these clothes they mm -hmm. always break so mm. i think i am and cold what is cold for me? I am a strong, muscly man. I do not need clothes up to be, be, um, I don't need clothes. Can, can I, while he's talking, just, it's not an attack. It's just like, mm. you know, with, with the cold, just letting like a bunch of like ice kind of like around <laughs> grug so it gets really, really cold. <laughs> you see his body immediately like slow and stiffen up like, oh. I am very tired. I might go to bed. And you see him kind of crawl out and like curl up on the floor like a dog. Just like, oh. Oh, sweetie. It's cold here. He needs clothes. Yeah. Grog, honey, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get you some stretchy clothes or magic clothes or something. His head slowly kind of turns up towards you. 
Can give me, give me a persuasion check with advantage. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have to carry him in the car. <laughs> Sleepy baby. Uh, persuasion. Uh, with advantage, so mm. let's see what. I There's can Shahil get. added to that as well with the. Okay, um, an unnatural 20. Oh shit, yes. You see him just kind of start crawling on his like all fours, just like. I think maybe close would be good, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, it's okay. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get you nice clothes. Okay? Someone I'm needs to make it. fire in that room. It is so chilly. And he seems to sort of crawl into back the... into one of these. No! <laughs> 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 oh. He's going to the room. <laughs> Are those plants in the pool? I just noticed. Uh, I think they might be. I just said that they were like herbs and plants and mushrooms. And okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Fucking chickens as well. Yeah, yeah they look like baby <laughs> chickens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Perfect. That's so, great. Yeah. She's uh, gonna go get dressed after okay. that. Kind of so. shaking her head, kind of giggling. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh. So is there any um, mirrors anywhere? There would be in the changing room, yeah. All the kind of like the lockers room. here would have uh, mirrors and things in. Okay. I, I just wanna kind of inspect myself. <laughs> Sure. This is kind of the first time uh, Rails properly looked at himself in a while. So he just wants to just inspect, kind of turning around over his shoulder to see the new scars and just like, oh, okay, Ooh. that's new. Yeah, there's a lot it's of also new. <laughs> it's also new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, pretty smashed up right now. Um, yeah, and they're, they're deep, they're sore, but yeah. <laughs> sore? Uh, they wouldn't be sore anymore, oh. actually, after the, after I know, the water. They yeah, they, they, they're, they're starting to heal up nicely now already. Mm -hmm. uh, for the sake of this as well, and spending so much time in the bathhouse, we'll say that you all experience a long rest. Uh, oh, just yeah. Just because... Yeah. Perfect. And uh, Wisteria, what are you up to right now? Um... I'm gonna say that Mysteria's just been there, like, um, just laughing to herself, like, <laughs> Oh, what are you? <laughs> oh. I don't actually know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just, like, hit Mysteria, like, <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna muck she will wait. <laughs> I don't know what they are either. They're <laughs> <laughs> both just... Stupid. Riel, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> quickly like fly over to Riel and be like, Riel, yeah, Riel. yeah, Riel. So, what are you? Sh Shahila's is gonna kind of go over to like Wisteria, kind of back like behind her, just like, yeah, I want, I want, I want to know too. Yeah, what are you? <laughs> uh, he's just kind of, well, he's got like his his uh, leggings on at the moment, just hiking them up a bit, wait, like, uh, wait, well... Wait, wait, uh, right there, wait, right there! Mr. is gonna run to her bags, grab her, <laughs> grab her scrolls. Just, okay, 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 I'm some, ready! Uh, uh, some wet scrolls onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna uh, grab, like, an empty scroll and be like, okay, okay. Okay, Rael is... What are you? Uh, I'm a changeling. Oh, okay. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if people didn't know what a changing was. They usually don't look how I look. Is it, is it like a, a half lizard man because you turn into a lizard one time? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's, uh, that was a one-off. Uh, basically, I, uh, this is how a changing looks. Uh, in the usual skin, if if I can put it that way, but so I you can. Ha you have other skins, like it is this can... like do you have a wardrobe? Uh, I With other skins. I... I guess you could put it that way. It's more, I could change myself to look exactly like you and sound exactly like you, even Shahil, even Quill. Oh myself to well even my internal organs can change oh. but this is how I choose to look I think you look handsome 
He's gonna kind of go for the coil again. Just like, oh god. <laughs> was like, thumbs up and shaking head. Like, yes, yes, yes. Keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just staring at him like. Uh. <laughs> okay, so thank you. You've got other skins, but you choose to be in this skin. But if you wanted to, you could be another skin. Okay, that's cool. Yes, if I if I wanted to. I mean, it's actually very difficult to tell who is a changeling and, and who is not. Even even I cannot tell. We we could have passed tens of changelings. We just don't know. Never when know. you when you turn, for example, if you were to turn into me, can you use my magical abilities? No, no. The if say if. Someone that could breathe underwater. I even if I changed into their body, I I wouldn't be able to breathe underwater. I can only mimic. Can't actually be them. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I I guess there's many many changelings use these skins to to hide themselves, but uh. I, I chose you don't not have to. a reason to hide? Uh, I just find it dishonest. So I choose to stay as I am. I like that. <laughs> I like this real. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Shahil, what are you? Uh, I am a thief flame. Just, just <gasps> oh, cool! Up. So am I! Yes, but I you do. Have... Think... Wings. Yeah, I'm not sure why. No, it's kind of weird, but they look good. Yeah, I just came out of an egg one day and voila, wings. <laughs> an egg? I, I guess so. Do I we... mean, I am kind of half Faelord, so I guess that kind of fits the bill, I guess. Oh, what? Do, do tieflings come from eggs, or, or no? I, I, I don't think so. Um, I think she's a special way. case. Yeah. yeah. Ghostly came from an egg. But your sister's. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it suits Ghostly. She likes mm. chickens. And they <laughs> like <eggs. laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, sorry, carry, carry on. <laughs> I mean, Ghostly does like chickens a lot, so I guess that does suit her. Yes. Um, mm. But, yes, I am a, just a, a tiefling. Nothing else. You're a pretty <clears throat> color. You don't really have much color. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, with all the other tieflings I I grew up with, no one, no, no one would quite look the same as me. I like yeah. it. It just means we're special edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do have one question. Oh, yes. You can also shift. I've seen it once before. You were oh. a lot taller. What what is that? Um, I if you don't mind. Uh, no, no, it's, it, it's fine. I don't quite know. Are you a changeling? Uh, no, I no, I, I think I'm just a tiefling. Um, but I don't I don't quite know how I I changed. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Wonder what sets it off. It's quite fascinating. Mister is gonna like. <clears throat> do like a hair sweep thing, like the grab a hand and like sweep her hair over and go, What can I say? A Stieflings are just limited edition. <laughs> it's exactly like I said. We're just special. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, just kind of like shaking his head a bit while smiling, like, oh My god. <laughs> <laughs> Although, um, Quill is very tiny for a Tiefling. <laughs> um, I'm half tiefling. She's also a goblin. a goblin. So I got more on my dad's Goblin? Jeans. Isn't that those little monsters that your parents warn you about under the bridges that like make you solve riddles and then kind of stop you when you go past the bridge? I, I thought that was two... ogres, no? Well, there's two types of goblins, at least what my dad said. <clears throat> But mm. you you do the same. You also stab people and, and say. I do. That's just more of a me thing, though, <laughs> and not really a goblin thing. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. 
My mom, it's just because I stab doesn't mean all goblins stab. My oh, mom told me that I couldn't go past the bridges because the ogres live, uh, the ogres and the goblins live there, and that if I went through the bridge, they would stab me. Well, Some well, there's there's two races of goblins. Um, that's um, it. That there's like the 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 stereotypical bad kind that we fought on that 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 bridge. Remember, the one mm -hmm. that that called me ugly, and I was ang angry about that because I'm pretty fucking pretty in comparison to them. Thank you're you. not ugly. No, you have, you have good oh, thank you. Oops. You were you were you oh, were thanks. dirty, but you're not ugly. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. Thanks. Kind maybe. Thanks. Just throw. Yeah, thank you, Greg. It's okay. That I have nice boobs, but I smell weird. Um, yeah. uh, both. Okay. Yeah. But I like the smell of mud. <clears throat> oh, thanks. That's good. Mm, you smell good like time. good dirt. <laughs> Aww, you smell like I dirt, know. and Mister is gonna come up to her and be like, yeah. "Oh, you do you smell like dirt." <laughs> you can't really wash it away. I, I was buried in the earth for oh. three hundred years. Oh. You were buried in the earth. Well, she's dead. I died. <laughs> <in London. laughs> she, she, I'm starting to believe that we're the only normal tieflings around here. You're the only tieflings. I'm not a tief. I'm a thiebling. No, but she's you're still a fish. I'm half tiefling, but it doesn't technically count because I'm wearing my dad jeans. And Zavion said that I'm a thiebling. That's because apparently this is a common thing that tieflings and goblins get it on. I mean, it's I, probably I... not too common. You're the only one I know. Well, yeah, but again, you I don't, don't know, know many of many things. But, no, but maybe it, it's weird that it's a, so common that maybe goblin men just have, you, you know. Could, yeah, because I have a sister and I may have a brother, so. Goblin genes may just be strong. Yeah. Just Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna change. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like butt naked the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> that's the conversation. Just butt naked. Dick out. <laughs> <laughs> just looking so concerned. <laughs> it's like eye She's level dead. with Will and she does not care because she's seen Brog naked and nothing cares her at this point. Brog oh, pull out his like kind of crusty hard loincloth and just he gives it like a little flap and it kind of bits of oh. dust and uh, bit of oh, fractions of bits come off. Please tell me Wisteria is not facing that way. Please tell me Wisteria is not facing that way. God, yeah, God I don't think you should on. put that on. No, God, take it. God, take it off. I would not no. take it off. No. <laughs> just stand it here. I'm gonna wash it and then give it back to you because you just got clean. Oh, no. This Why is. Why not? I have never washed this. But if you wash it, you get. Stronger and your muscles can grow faster. Give me a deception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Can I cast guide us on that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get bardic inspiration. Oh, yeah, sure, you can add it all. D four and a D eight to your roll. Hold on, I gotta find my my sheet first. Okay, deception. Yeah. Deception. <laughs> I'm proficient. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you add a D four to that. Okay, hold on. I need. Okay, fuck. Hold on, I need a calculator. <laughs> Uh, plus that, and then I add a what? Uh, roll a d4 and also roll a d8. A d4. Oh my god. And a d8. Yeah. What's the eight one? The eight one Diamond. is... The yeah, the one. Diamond. Yeah, exactly. Sims uh, logo. Yeah. Uh, who be this? Is this one? He is. <laughs> that <Okay>. is 30. <laughs> 30. <laughs> Grog's just like... <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> it just chucks it your way, Quill. It's kind of like it, it it holds its shape the whole time. Like, oh, it oh. <laughs> like, well, she's like, I would like a little bit more. You know, get rid of that. You don't even, I don't even need that. He's got his hands on his hips at this stage. Oh, no. I will get to be the most powerful, most strongest yes, ever. <laughs> How to Sorry. teach me. Um I'm gonna wash this, and then you can have it back, and then we're gonna go shopping and find you some new clothes, okay? Oh, okay. I'm going to be so powerful. You're gonna be very uh... powerful and so handsome. Even more handsome than you already are. Even more handsome than handsome, boy! And he kind of grabs Shaheel by the chin. He's <laughs> just, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of turns both your, your face and his face towards Quill and puts his face besides... He's like, she heal. Oh, this handsome. He lets go of your hand face. 
Um, yes. You're both very handsome. It depends on the person, but I think you're all very handsome and pretty. I'm gonna go wash this now because this is concerning. <laughs> yeah. Back in a bit. God. <laughs> I'll go into the details of it, but it takes a while. But... <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's it's fine. Fine. Yeah, eventually you come back. The hot water helps for sure, but eventually you come back with a somewhat decent. The, the whole pool itself is like a. Oh, it's mank. Brown it? yeah. oh, <laughs> stop, dude. <laughs> so I'll go into details. <laughs> but... details. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you can see the color it once was now. Like it... uh, <laughs> I like how everyone's assuming it's poop, but I'm just like, it's most like he just mud and stuff that he did. Blood and it mud. Just, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. a whole amalgamation of things. Greg seems like he would wash his ass. I ain't gonna judge him. He's literally, like, <laughs> ran through bodies before. So. <laughs> yeah. God. He seems like he washes his ass. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. Give it back to him anyway. All... Everyone's dressed and ready now to, to head off. Let's say the others are checking out their rooms, uh, and there there maybe a few of them are gonna head stay back for a little bit, like Melody and the likes. Uh, maybe Oscar is gonna have a chat with them. Serafina is gonna head off on their own, being all very mysterious as usual. Uh, <laughs> Ghostly is going to just explore the rest of this building, kind of runs off to the rest of the uh, the huge uh, complex that you're in currently. And Ghostly, put some clothes on before you go away. What? I just scream at Ghosty, put some clothes on before you run off! <laughs> Ghosty throws on like, <laughs> just her kind of overall kind of red tunic thing and just kind of races off up the, the halls. Um, Oscar comes back a little bit and he's got um, some keys uh, for your rooms if you want to check any of the rooms out and Oscar's just yeah. going to go for a walk and just have a, a think um, by himself. It's, uh, it's Royale dressed, are you dressed? You have your belts on and shit. Yes. Epic. Um, I'm also dressed. Ha, no money. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> would like to go over to Rael. And I ha I've, uh, Sheila spawned a little tassel that he made uh, out of their hair mm. on his um, his belt thing. And he's going to just uh, go over to Rael and not really say anything. He looks a little awkward. Just like, yeah. I, and, yeah. and he's going uh, <laughs> to gonna put it on his, uh, his belt. The little tassel. Aww. He's just gonna look at it, uh, give it a bit of the fill between his fingers and a small smile. Uh, thank you. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh, yeah. with the little tassels, that mm -hmm. if you are in within yeah. 10 feet of each other, you can add mm -hmm. plus one to your attacks oh. or your abilities. Oh, Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Oh, hell yeah. It's kind of gone. <laughs> Are these your promise rings? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever played, um, what's it gonna call it? Um, um, damn it. Uh, Fire Emblem. Um, you can, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, rapport up between, like, uh, people and, like, they, they fight better together and things like that. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Aww, yeah. Hell Plus yeah, rings. let's go. Um, let's go. Does anyone know when that feast was being held by the queen i know she mentioned it but uh, i don't know if there was a time uh, i don't think she said i'll say it i'm not good. sure but i feel like she might pick us up no <laughs> 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 she's already gonna hop in you're the devil uh, and um queen lavender kind of like nods each of you in turn and she just uh says you know what I hope uh, you've all enjoyed your time in the pools and everything else. Uh, feel free to explore the rest of the town. People are dying to meet the, the heroes who have saved Orkil. And later tonight, uh, I've had a word with uh, Rosemary, and uh, she has convinced me that uh, maybe it is not uh, good to maybe host a feast in the, the noble district where, you know, it, uh, guests will be limited. Uh, she believes it should be held at the heart of the town. In the Misty Inn, uh, and she seems a little kind of like a little like ooh, ooh kind of pains me to say that um, a little bit. But she <laughs> says, uh, "But uh, I think uh, apparently you would be more comfortable there, um, and everyone uh, you've met and helped along the way will be invited. Uh, we've sent out invites. We'll see who arrives, um, and we will see you later tonight, maybe at uh, uh, seven o'clock." Um, so Sounds wonderful. Six, seven hours from now, uh, we'll meet you at the, 
the mission. We will prepare everything for you. Uh, but for now, uh, feel free. You have your keys for your rooms. Uh, feel free to pick and choose whichever you like. And um, we have a few uh, gifts to arrange for you as well. If you would like to meet me at any any moment, um, I'll just be here. Uh, I'll be staying here the night. Um, we have a few things we'd like to give you before you leave. Um, or if you'd like to wait uh, until tonight's feast, we can announce them there. Is it safe for you to stay here? Yeah, I believe so now, yes. We, uh, we've been doing some kind of research and, you know, prying on what uh, Walter uh, Blackfine was doing and he managed to uh, slowly tweak and change the minds of a lot of my uh, guards and we are slowly unraveling the uh, enchantments that were placed upon them. Slowly, slowly, they, everything should be back to normal within a few weeks. What about the the poisoning of the water? Is that being sorted out? Absolutely. It's the first thing we got on top of. And we have already found uh, a whole plethora of uh, strange uh, poisons and concoctions that have been pumped into the water and we've gotten rid of them. We've uh, destroyed them so they can never be used again. There's a lot of uh, things that need clearing up over the next few weeks, months. Uh, there's a lot more going on, but you can leave the rest to us. We will get this sorted, no problem. Thank you. Uh, if if I may, just very quickly. Um, there was a incident in, in one of the pools here. It's been sorted. There was a, a, a monster of of some kind hiding, but it's been dealt with. But sadly, the pool has has been. Um... There's a giant crack in the pool now. What? Oh, there's, I'm just there's, there's, there's a crack in the pool. There's, <laughs> there's a crack in the oh, pool. Crack. Yeah. Uh, if can if if you need any gold towards repairing, please please let me know. That that was my fault. Oh, there's no a crack boy. in there. Yeah, well, I'm sure a little crack is no problem. She kind of walks down the hall as you're kind of chatting, and she's <laughs> oh. like, you just hear like an echo, like a, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. She kind of makes her way back, <clears throat> kind of recomposes herself. I, you know, um, you've done a lot of good for this town. I'm sure uh, fixing the pool is no problem. I've heard. A lot of people over the past few years have gone missing here. Uh, good to know that's sorted now. Um, no longer bottomless, no longer tourist attraction, but you know, safe now. By the looks of it. A lot, a lot safer, trust me. You could you. still make it bottomless. If yeah, you might want to get rid it. of the bones on the bottom though. Oh no, yeah. it was just suddenly, one day, I was a very young little uh, dragonborn, but uh, one day, I, uh, there was rumors spreading that the pool was getting deeper and deeper and deeper and people would go swimming, try to get to the bottom and every day the bottom would get further and further away and eventually no one could get to the bottom and some people did go missing occasionally. But I think this is maybe better. Yeah, maybe not make it bottomless. Maybe not. If it's man-made, maybe just... Mm. A nice distance would be nice. It was fun, but you know, death is always not fun. Yes, we, uh, you know, as much as it, it does attract people, uh, sudden mysterious deaths in our town also kind of deters mm. tourists. So I think it yeah. is the, the better option, definitely. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Well, have a wonderful evening and we'll see you all <coughs> later. Goodbye. It's yeah. Lavender, before you leave, I, I, is it okay if I have? Is, is, do you have the gifts with you now, or just? Do we have? If, uh, I have some up in my room. I know that the Thieves Guild is preparing you some things as well for your trip. Uh, we've also managed to bring in. We we do not have any need for um, Hogarth Stone Guard Stone uh, Massive Sword. Maybe it might help you on your adventure. We. We've met, he, he left it behind uh, during the battle. The, the the you know the guard of Walter Blackfine. He, he left his uh, big sword. If you would like that, we I know that uh, the 
um, Green, I believe his name is. The the tailor has some gifts for you too. Um, uh, and even the egg cult has put together a few little uh, yeah, potions and things for your journey. Just say thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's that's extremely generous. Ah no, and, and my myself and uh, uh, Rosemary, we've put together a, a small a bit a small amount of uh, money to take with you on your travels that you might need. Uh, we think uh, you've done a lot of good here. Uh, unfortunately, we, we're going to be a bit tied uh, in terms of you know money and everything else with all the repairs, and uh, we're setting up a lot of things. But more information on that later during the feast. Uh, but we've we've put together uh, a bit of money for all of you for for uh, your travels later. We've put together a collection of warm clothes. So if we heard you were going to Jotunheim, and um, yes, the the Thieves Guild has arranged uh, some of the uh, finest stallions in Orkil. Uh, uh, nice uh, horses to to um, pull a large carriage that they've been uh, putting together and repairing for you. One thing that they were looking for, though, is uh, just the the color of the carriage. You would like uh, they were putting some tarps and and things on the on the uh, wagon itself. Is there any any way you would like it uh, designed? Uh, it just kind of looks around at everyone. <laughs> Asteria, you you draw, don't you? I've seen you doodle and stuff. Right yeah. Off. <laughs> Do you want to design our carriage? You want me to just work on the design of the carriage? It's just, it's just, just picking pick the colour for the tops for the okay. carriage. What do you think would mm. that best? Mm. <laughs> we can decide it later as well. Of course, no problem. Just, it doesn't have to be now. No, we have Just many... have a think about it until the... the feast. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... When we uh, announce you coming in uh, tonight, is there a, a collective name you go by that we can use? <gasps> PB Rebellion! A PB Rebellion. Well, perfect, perfect, thank you. Yeah, it does. She actually writes that one down just so she doesn't forget <laughs> it, like in a little notepad and pockets it. Okay, well, um, if you'd like, uh, I can give you the money that we put together now. If you have to go shopping for your, one of your last days, you're free to stay as long as you like. But we are aware that, uh, you know, you have things to do, places to go. If it's okay, we'll come to the feast and we can get all the gifts and stuff that people had. Didn't realize so many people wanted to give us stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You've done some great things in this town. People are very grateful. Thank you. Okay. If you need us, though, we'll be shopping. Wonderful. And if you need any money for that shopping, I can happily provide. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll be in my chambers uh, where the rest of the money is kept in a safe at the moment. Um, but feel free. I mean, she gives you like the she writes down the room number and everything in the floor, and she just gives you the details for that. Uh, okay. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye, Lavender. Bye. My sister's um. really lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, for for now, should we? things in rooms just so we don't have to lug it around whilst in town oh that'd be a good idea for okay. you yeah yeah um oh fuck i just dropped my car <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no oh man why it's good am you don't i have actually people. wisteria in real life this is not fair <laughs> okay it's fine <clears throat> luckily i downed it earlier it was just a little bit okay um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> um, Riel? Um, so, you know when we were kind of like, no, um, fighting that guy that then turned into a dragon and kind of like flew away and, and I, I happened to like scare a couple of the courts and got to, to open up the safes? Hmm. Um, well, there may have been a lot of gold in there. And I kind of have it all, and I kind of feel a little guilty about having it all, so... Um... Is it? 
It's a lot of gold. I, I generally, I didn't know this much gold existed in the world. Oh, how much gold is that? <laughs> yeah. I have like almost 2,000 gold. Oh. Oh. That's oh, shit. That, this is a lot of gold. That's a. Yeah. Do you think I can afford the arcane tablet? Do you think you can afford <laughs> 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 I really want it. It's more the lady won't that let you me can't afford anymore. it, it's more they won't let you in. Yeah, I know, but. <laughs> Are you wanting me to try and haggle for it? I mean, I, I think I tried, but she ended up turning me into a rat. You want more haggling? You were just kind of talking and not letting her talk. Isn't that haggling? No, no, no. Haggling is about compromise, meeting halfway. Yeah. So you would say, oh, I, I only have uh, 10 gold. Can you pull it down to 10 gold? They may say, oh, no, I, I, the most I can go is 15. And you would go slowly and slowly mm -hmm. to a number that you can go. Yeah, or, or maybe offer something else of value, say, if you had that 10 gold, but it's in an amulet as well, or it's, it's, can it can you... work it. Can you haggle for me? I really want the arcane tablet. Uh... It's magic and it's arcana and I'm arcana and I don't really understand arcana that much and I kind of want to learn about arcana more and like it's magic and I love magic. Uh, I need all knowledge. I yes. can try. I can help. I mean, surely Thank you. Could do it a lot but we just we, we stole it while haggling, but I'll, I I won't steal it this time. <laughs> I mean, I, I, have, I, I, I have other things of value. I got, okay, if I remember correctly, I've got uh, 1,800 gold, and then I've also got, like, these, oh, oh, look, and she's gonna, like, pull stuff out of a bag and be like, look, I've got these two weird paintings, <laughs> like, those are cool, right? Like, that's cool. Like, I've got these two. I don't- I- I sold the other three, but I don't really know what to do with these two. Oh, well, if- if you're happy with letting them go, then I can give it a try. It's- it's been a while really have since- have room to hang them in, so... Oh. <laughs> that's true. Well, it's been a while since I've haggled, but I'll- I'll give it a shot for you, okay? But don't- don't be disappointed if I can't get it, okay? Okay. And maybe don't- we shouldn't be near the store. No. No, please. Yeah, she, she might kill me. <laughs> maybe, maybe so. <laughs> yeah. But for now, let's get stuff in our rooms and we'll go to town, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess we'll go. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> 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 Ten minutes, <laughs> lads. <laughs> Ten minutes. There we go. Uh, so the stream switched over. I'm going to switch your stream over so that you can all see me. Will we go into the new map? Yeah. I, 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 what? What? We're what? going to the new oh, map. Hey. 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 Oh, is that wine? Is that wine? Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's Ooh. obviously Riel's and Shahil's room. <laughs> <laughs> There's wine in every room. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, look at these the rugs. Yeah, we're spare on floor. So, this is, uh, <laughs> this is currently the, the floor that you are on with all the rooms. Uh, it will say Oscar or Goshi and the others are just down there at the moment. So yeah, it's your choice which rooms you want to take. Oh my god. <laughs> uh -huh. um, actually as well, I will just turn off uh, the This one. is on the new one! Yeah. Oh my god! This is the new stuff, look how oh, cool it is! So oh, that's Turn off the grid for now. Boner. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, like, like beautiful quality. Look at all those tokens. They're all crisp as fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. they don't glitch when you oh zoom my in. God. No. <laughs> it, like, you can resize them all you like, and they they keep oh, their quality. Hell yeah! Look at that. Look, oh I can like make God. tiny rail, and then <laughs> and I can zoom in, and it's still it's still good quality tiny rail. Look at that. That's <laughs> yeah. I love it. I keep this one because he is small. But... <laughs> I'm not that small. Colour is tiny. Just oh my god, it's just so cute! <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah. Look, has to be huge. It is huge. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> uh, god, the rooms. There we go. Oh, they're all so fancy. Yeah. Does any of the rooms have like a small little. Is that like books I see? Like a little bookshelf? 
Uh, there is, yeah. There's one with a bookshelf in here, the black one. Yeah. I'm running in. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know, you just... <laughs> <laughs> So inside, there's a wardrobe as well that's dressed with, like, uh, you've got some fancy kind of complimentary clothes in there. There's a bath. There's, uh, uh, just a, few, there's um, a drawer as well with some maps of the different regions of um, of Gostar. And there's also some books, mainly kind of light reading books, like kind of more uh, fiction um, yeah. than anything else. But there are a few kind of books, like on... Uh, geometry, geology, and geography, and all this kind of stuff, and yeah, there's a few kind of history uh. books and things. <laughs> it's not, it's not, bleh, are there stairs? Yeah, that's where you've just come up, you've come up the stairs there. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck it. And there's, okay. yeah, so, as you come down as well, there's, uh, you've got another stairwell down here, to kind of, this is a big grand hallway where there's windows, nice light coming in at the moment, morning light, there's a piano in the middle of the hall. Um, yeah, put yourself in the room. Wherever Grug is going, I would assume I would be following. I don't know where I am going, so I will roll a dice. <laughs> Pick one, Grug, I don't know which one to take. I like green, because you are green, Quill. Aww. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. What is this? He's like hops on the bed, like just standing up, and the bed kind of like oh, buckles no. slightly under him. And he picks up the bottle of wine and just kind of smashes the top off of it and just starts drinking God. it and spitting out bits oh, of broken no. glass. Oh, this is fun! It's like a party now. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna hop on the bed. Is it a bounce? <laughs> She's gonna hop on the bed and bounce. See okay. how high she can get. Yeah. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. <laughs> Breaks the bed. <laughs> we'll end up in a different room. <laughs> in the ceiling. <laughs> in the ceiling, or just don't go very far. You got a four. Four. You got a four. So you're gonna like uh, oh. gently bouncing, kind of hopping on it nicely. And Grug, you got a twenty-five. So he just like bounces up, slams down, and just shoots you up into the ceiling. And your head just goes through the, the like the wooden floorboards oh, above you. And just like your head stuck there for a second, you're gonna pop it out. Um, and you take, she's you gonna, take hang, she's gonna hang off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a oh, how much damage did I take? Uh, just two bludgeoning damage. Amazing. Oh, oh no, wait. Uh, yeah, four. Four bludgeoning damage. Okay, yeah, bad. fuck me up. It's fine. <laughs> I want the dark blue room and I'm taking red yellow. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> oh my god. Just, I'm gonna just slick two of you, just drag you in there. Look at that fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at wow. that. Oh, oh, did I next door? Yeah. <laughs> they haven't Such even like properly fish. like talked yet. They ain't gonna do any hanky no. tanky yet. Uh, Don't worry. Uh, as they they come into the room, though, he's gonna smell the wine, even though it's in a bottle. And he's just gonna. Uh, oh. Oh, you don't like wine, do you? That's... No, um, one of the sir. Um, he he drank wine a lot. I I don't really like it. But other alcohol is is, is fine, but. No. You like whiskey? Yes. yes. Yes, I do. Drink in the tavern later. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't uh, know. He's gonna take the wine and mm. he's gonna he's gonna just put it outside on the piano. Okay. Hell yeah. I can do that. I can. Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, he's just kind of looking around, even down at the bear rug, like, oh, wow, <laughs> this is, uh, this is pretty fancy. <laughs> it definitely is. Um, I'm not used to this. This is top tier. You, can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? <laughs> if you want to. Sarah's, which Sarah's? Sorry, right. sorry, I'm here. I'm here. Sorry, my dis my Discord is um, sitting up. Sorry, I am here. I am here. It's just my Discord. <laughs> Go ahead. He said yes. By the way. Epic. Um, he's gonna kind of play with uh, his his fingies a bit, kind of shy, and he's, you know, I told you a bit about, you know, my past. Not not a lot. I but if you have questions, I will answer them. Um, but um. Can I? Do you want to? Only if you want to, and tell some, you know, about you. Maybe. 
Me? Uh, yeah. I don't think my life is that interesting, but... but... I think you're interesting, so I'd like to know. Oh, she died! <laughs> oh no! That's so funny! Oh my yeah, god! She immediately <laughs> faints. <laughs> like, when? Sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, do I sound okay? Is, yeah. It, yeah. is it all good? Yeah. yeah, he'll just... He'll just, uh... Sit on that uh, seat at the end of the bed. Mm -hmm. Um... Well... Uh, where do I begin? Uh, well, you know, I am a knight, a paladin. I, my hometown is called Rimgroff in, in the mountains of uh, Jotunheim. Mm. Uh, I've been in the knights for nearly 10 years now. How old are you, if I may ask? I'm, I'm 26. What? Oh. oh, I... How... how... Um, I'm 21. <laughs> I, I didn't think your age difference was that big. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I joined the Knights when I was in my late teens. Um, it, before that, though, um, he looks a bit uh, unsure, but uh, is is kind of twiddling his thumbs a little bit. But um, he will just take a minute. Um, it it wasn't great, if if I have to be honest. <laughs> I didn't grow up in, in the nicest of situations. Let's just put it that way. I mean, mm. poverty is one thing, but poverty in a winter wasteland, it's completely different. Yeah. I, I was the same a bit, please. Yeah, and, uh, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. He's gonna not <laughs> keep on talking because he interrupted and he just realized and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> he just gives him a small smile. Um, yeah, honestly, there's uh, not too much to me, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, I think you're interesting in, in, in a good way. Not, you know, God, I'm bad. It's, I don't know why I'm so. <laughs> All of a sudden, I used to be great at talking. I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's certainly interesting seeing this side of you. <laughs> it's new. It's nice. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, in any case, no matter what happened in the past, what happens is what what well, what matters is what happens now. Yeah. So, just gotta hope for the best. I mean, once you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. That's what I was taught to believe. Anyway. <laughs> What's so funny? It just... It, it just, you know, sounds funny, but I... Yes, you're, you're right. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so awkward! <laughs> <laughs> They're trying. They're really, really so trying. Cool. They're doing so well! <laughs> <laughs> This is so cute, but so painful. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. That's, that's enough. Yeah, right. <laughs> they can talk more when they get shit faced. Yeah, because they you know, fly around. This, this room's ceiling is like 30 feet high. Like you've got so much, or 20 feet high, Casey. You've got so much room to just fly around, zip around this whole place, stretch your wings. Oh! Um, and yeah, check it out. The You've got maps in here. You've got books. Um, you've got wardrobe. Whatever you like, uh, you can do whatever you like. If there's anything you'd like to do, you can drop your stuff here uh, for now. Um... Mm, I'm going to drop my stuff there. Mm. Uh, but I am going to say that I'm going to take all the maps with me. You got it. So you now have... There's there's only a few in there. There's um, a map of the Vale, map of Jotunheim, 
Um, there is a map of the Thunder Plains, and uh, I think, and there is a map of Limbo. Okay, map of <laughs> Limbo, and what was the Thunder one? Uh, the Thunder Plains. Thunder Plains, yeah. got it. It's it's like you can see as well the the corner of it. It's like um, map two of three. There's uh, there's three of these maps for the Thunder Plains, but currently you have the the, the middle one, <coughs> which is listed as the Thunder Plains, but it, it belongs in Olympus, which is the re yeah the realm of Olympus. Okay, uh, she's gonna kind of like um, inside. Of, she's gonna like empty out a whole bag, like literally just on a floor. Like okay, okay, what do I need? Okay, I need, I need my, um, okay, I'm gonna take these, these two paintings with me, I'm, I'm gonna take all my money, um, do I have anything else of value? Um, hmm, let's see, uh, hmm, look, oh god, that old hack, what would she like? <laughs> Uh, you know what? She takes what she gets. I'm just gonna uh, put those two inside and oh, someone died. Yep. And she'll she go okay, okay. And I guess I'll take some medicine stuff just in case. You never <laughs> know when you're about to get attacked. Okay, let's go. And she'll kind of put her bag on. And be like, Real, Real, hmm. Real. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll go to the door and poke my head out. Like, huh? <laughs> It's just kind of like holding a little bag straps and going like, Let's go! Let's go! Arcane tablet! Let's go! <laughs> oh yeah, it's shop shopping. Right, let me just yeah. let me just put these down. And uh, okay. he'll he'll just drop off his gear, but he'll keep his uh, some money and his sword um, mm. on him. He'll he'll keep his armor off for now, actually. Sure. Um, but still keep the crystal with him. Sure. All right. Uh, and yourself and Grogquil, what are you doing? Where are you? I was gonna jump down back onto the bed. Oh, okay. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> she's going to drop off most of her stuff. She's gonna keep like her sword and her harp and mm. stuff. She doesn't have a bag properly yet. Like mm. a big one to hold all of the stuff. She's just kind of holding it all in her arms, I would assume. <laughs> yeah, I think um, you had a backpack um, where you kept a lot of the clothes. She had a backpack, but she had so many things mm. now. Yeah, yeah, of but course. It's not fitting in there. Mm. <laughs> um, she's gonna turn to Grog and it's like, Grog, yeah. you know the trident? Uh, the fork? The fork, yes, the fork. Yeah. Um, I have way too many magical things uh. with me. Would you like to have the fork? Well, okay, sure. I would yeah. take the fork. Yeah. Um, I'll try and get I'll try and buy something for you to be able to carry it because it's be kind oh. of annoying for you just to have it in your arm. I, it is okay. I can put it in my cloth. And he kind of takes the fork, the, the trident from your hands, and kind of just sits it in his waistband. See? Look at that! And it kind of just slips out immediately. He just kind of picks it back up and ties it around a little bit. Oh, so perfect. Honey, I want the best for you, so I'm gonna get you something nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Let's go. Let's let's go shopping. I hear Wisteria's wings. Shopping time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, we'll we head out to Orkill, I guess. Yeah. Let's shop. Let's shop. Okie dokie. I'll uh I'll switch back over to the other uh, version, but that's okay. And boop. Back now, to the old ways of living. Back to the old ways. <laughs> let's change my window. <laughs> So weird going from this and then going back to <laughs> yeah. the <laughs> It's like, ugh, gross. Ugh, <laughs> gross. Oh, it's also strange for me because all the key binding things are different. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, oh, They're wait, how different. do I do? I just have to bounce. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so, get rid of some people here. Um, boom, 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 boom. Do, do, do. Sterling Jr., we can get rid of. Oh, I was going to get rid of. Oh, that was the chicken. I was like, why is there a rat in them? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and uh, Serafina. Serafina, yeah. Now they're all resting. They're just vibing in their rooms. Yeah. <laughs> so you all head to uh, 
to the shop, that fancy shop. Well, I assume some of you are heading, like, staying away from that. It's just... Is it yeah. real and she's oh, going yeah, yeah, for you? Going anywhere yes. Anywhere. Did you we want are. to head to, um, what's her name at all? Um, Lavenders for money or anything? Or are you going to get that later? Uh, uh, I think we would go to Lavenders to get yeah, money. Yeah, money. yeah, yeah, you wanted money. I know she is. <laughs> yeah, because more money means more more budget for the tablet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Money. <laughs> this, uh, we'll just say um, for expediency, kind of head back up to uh, Lavender's room. She's kind of just preparing a few things and kind of chatting to a few people and sending stones and putting one standing stone down and the next sending stone and like chatting to all of them, uh, taking calls <laughs> essentially. And she turns to you and she's like, ah, ah, come in, come in, come in, come in. Uh, so we have put together a small little uh, package of uh, goods for you. And she hands you this small little chest. Uh, and inside is uh, 400 gold pieces and what? 80 platinum pieces. Whoa. Um, Whoa. So a platinum piece is worth 10 gold coins. So altogether you've got um, 1,200 gold. Ooh, we are. Um, but yeah, 400 gold pieces, 80 platinum pieces there. Oh yeah, we've got to split this up. I don't know how to do math, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think the story knows how to do maths either. Uh, I guess Rael has basic maths, <laughs> so... <laughs> he basic went maths. to school, he hasn't died. He went to school, yeah. <laughs> he had to be trained in something, so... Um... Sarah's gonna look down and be like, okay, okay, I know how to count. So, um, so 200 for you. 200 for you. No. 600 that's, for that's, me. No. 200 for you. No. 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 We have to do this fairly, Wisteria. Fairly. Mm. You told me all this. There's many of us in this group, so how how many of us are there? Well, <laughs> excluding like Grog and Melody, there are seven of you. Um, seven. So you could each get ten platinum pieces each there'd be 10 left yeah. over um and you'd all get uh, i think 50 gold each and then there'd be 50 gold left over uh, each how much how much was the plat uh There's... so you got 10 10 each and uh, each one platinum is worth 10 gold yeah uh... so okay so okay here's how we're gonna do this right okay let's go uh, okay, so Rails just he just gets out. Uh, he'll just ask Wisteria for a piece of paper just to do some quick maths on he just it. Brings out a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I am the calculator. <laughs> uh, okay, so since thank thank you. Uh, well, since there's an uneven number of us, that will be approximately fifty gold each, and ten platinum each. Uh, there will be 50 gold and 10 platinum left over, but I feel like that should be used for emergencies on behalf of the whole group. So should Is that fair? That, yeah, so we should keep that money aside in case we need food or travel? Exactly. In in case anything happens, if, if someone loses money or something, at least we have some spare. Okay, that sounds fair. Okay, okay. And he'll... he'll uh, It'll help uh, sp split it uh, in their little pouches mm. and give it to everyone. Sure. Um, we can say as well, like while you're there, um, on this on the mantelpiece in the room, uh, propped up there, uh, sheathed currently is this uh, five foot long katana that uh, <laughs> um, uh, Queen Lavender brings down off its uh, off the wall, and she kind of hands it to you, and she says, uh, if uh, any of you, if this will prove useful for any of you, it's a, a great sword, a great katana made of uh, star platinum, a very rare substance. It's a, a somewhat indestructible uh, material, um, and she kind of unsheaths it. And you can see this milky white blade underneath uh, that has a Ooh. slight rainbow sheen to it, um, and she kind of sheaths it back incredibly powerful incredibly strong and you can see patches of the blade as well like uh kind of look like uh, they're transparent like glass um it's got these like streaks of milky white going through it all um mm. if this can uh serve you well please take it with you um i'll take it 
Okay. Are, are you sure on yeah. letting this this go? That's a, that's a strong you sword. You know how to use a sword? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. It's Thank not... you, Queen Lavender. That was really sweet. We should go now, guys. We can't keep. Oh, she's got. She's very busy. We should go. <laughs> no like, we'll see you later at the banquet. Uh, Thanks, absolutely. Lavender. Keep see you. <laughs> and she's kind of like you. pushing Riel and Chihil away and going, "Hey, how much do you think this is worth? Do you think I can get the Arcana?" Hey, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Is a very powerful sword. Okay. It will come in handy to us. We're not selling it. Mm. But, but I but I think you can still get the the, the book. Um, you reckon? Yeah. I yes. Still really, I really like this sword, though. I really want to keep it. Can I yes. have it? You um, don't need to sell it to keep it. Just have, have it. If you know how to use a sword, sure. Do, did mm, you like if... about the sword? I've used mm. daggers before. I'm sure a sword is They're very different. The <laughs> well, I learned. Bring your own teaching. Uh, sure. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, just, just keep it safe, okay? Yeah. And we'll mean Shahil will try our best to get that tablet. Okay. Yes. Um. Okay. So here's here's my money because me and Quell can't go anywhere. At um, we'll, we'll die. So, um, I've got, there's like, okay, this is for Sharis, but I've got 1,917 gold pieces. 1,917? <laughs> yeah. And then I've from... got 15 platinum pieces. I think it's 15. 15 platinum. Wait, wait, no, I've got 10 platinum pieces and 5 silver pieces. Are they the same? <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I've got ten platinum pieces and five silver pieces. Five silver and one thousand nine hundred seventeen gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah five wow. silver is like half and a gold. Then Wister is also going to hand you uh, two paintings that are meant to be worth two hundred and fifty gold pieces each. <laughs> That's two. I don't even think Real needs to haggle. He could just hand it all, all these stuff. Uh, well, bearing in mind the price she wanted was like thirty-four thousand. So... Yeah, it's like one hundred ninety-six thousand. Oh, yeah. But... yeah, that's oh, yeah. a lot. Oh, so, yeah, um, you'll definitely need more things. Hopefully, this is some worth to her. And uh, as much as this is gonna pain Wisteria, she's gonna um, remove her froggy amulet and go. Oh. I don't want to give this away, but I feel I really want that Arcana tablet. So um, I've got wings, so it's not really that useful to me. So if she wants this for the tablet, then you can give it to her. And it's the it's an emerald amulet with a frog inside, which makes you be able to jump high so if she likes that <laughs> fucking give it to her <laughs> uh again we'll try our best can't guarantee okay. the outcome but we'll we'll try okay yeah. okay that's fine me uh, and yeah. we'll, we'll well i don't know about quill but i'm gonna hang out in that little park over there i'm going to go to the tailors okay y'all have fun okay um, okay before ice. Quill goes to the... T oh, sorry, Cass. No, I, ju I, ju I just said I... Nothing. I <laughs> oh. I <laughs> uh, before Quill heads to Taylor's, uh, I just want to go to like that little park behind Grug. And can I use detect magic on the little sword? Like, I want to see if I can tune to it or like... Oh, the big, the big kind massive of magic. katana? Yeah, the little wanna... sword. Yeah, I was just gonna <laughs> say like, uh, <laughs> like the five foot it's long. Really... It's like almost oh, the length of you. If it's got like any magic, and if it does, yeah. what kind of magic it does? Okay. I know it's a concentration thing, so. I probably... Uh, so you're you're wait, so you're using your uh, detect magic or, or identify or what are you casting on this? Uh, I'm not sure. I just wanted like I don't know if I should use detect magic or if it's just something that mm. I can like connect to and like, uh, roll you can give me an arcana check uh, at the moment for, for the initial kind I, of lead over oh, what dice uh. do I trust <laughs> <laughs> and I'm guessing me and Shahil will go in the shop sure sure um, yeah. <laughs> so you can be looking over that uh, Grug and Quill you can go to the tailor um, and okay yeah, so... arcana I got an 11 11 
Uh, it's a really big ass sword. It's incredibly <laughs> sharp. Uh, it's it seems to be magical, but it doesn't have like a dull glow that you typically get with like an attunement item. This is just a really strong magical sword. Um, and you know as well that you, you don't know how to wield something like this. You it's a yeah. martial weapon, so you you would just yeah. when you if you used it, you just wouldn't add your proficiency to the attacks. You would just use your strength. And that's it. You can give it a few swings, like swinging Lock around. It around. Um, but it is, um, just to say, it's a plus two magical weapon. So you add two to your attacks and your damage. Um, yeah. It's a really big <laughs> sword. And it's it's indestructible, somewhat. Almost indestructible. Oh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, you bring it out, you kind of draw the whole thing. It's absolutely huge. Um, can I give it a few swings? It is quite light, surprisingly, but it, you had no idea how to like control the balance of this thing. As you swing it, your whole body starts spinning around with the blade. And, <laughs> um, yeah. Would I be able to use detect magic? I believe it tells you like this the school of magic that it's coming yeah. from. Um, yeah. If you cast that on it, uh, there is like hints of transmutation on this but more so you get the sense that transmutation was used on this to f uh, forge it um, and there is something else there there's like a psychic energy to the blade too um, the blade seems somewhat sentient um, yeah that's it it's alive <laughs> what's sentient? sentient sentient means that it's it, it has a mind of its own. Kind of, yeah. yeah there's <clears throat> Like the, the harp used to. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Okay. I I'm gonna talk to the sword. Yeah. I'm just gonna be like, Hi, um I'm not sure how to use you, but I'll learn. Um Um I I I'm Mysteria, it's nice to meet you. I don't know if I should name you to be honest. You can Do you, do you want a name? Um give me a sign if you do. There's no sign. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm guessing you don't want to name. The sign is, I'm a sword, I don't talk. <laughs> you know, I mean, sentient, you never know, okay? It's like, it's just hysteria. But it's like, mm, okay, I'll just call you Big Rainbow Katana, I guess. You're kind of pretty. I hope we can get along. And she's gonna, kind of stupidly gonna put her arm out and then realize, oh, you don't have hands. <laughs> well, um... I hope we work well. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can. Does it do anything? Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> There's okay. no response from this thing. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you you spend the rest of that time with Burke, um, and uh, Big Rainbow Katana, and uh, yeah. We'll go yeah, I'm just there. chilling. Yeah. And talking to a sword <laughs> and probably scaring the locals. <laughs> you can see the. the, <laughs> the, the Scene. Yeah, the pig lady from earlier who uh, runs the, um, the the chapel of the mother dog. You're kind of there swinging around and chatting to this blade, and you kind of see them coming out like some cookies, and then kind of turn right back around and go back into the <laughs> into the, the temple. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm not getting involved in that. That's <laughs> eating. <Hi. laughs> All right. As Rail and Shahil um, approach yeah. this um, yeah. uh, building. Uh, currently, there's a big sign up uh, saying "closing for business," um, and inside you can see just through the the windows and the the door is being kind of reboarded up. It's kind of like they've kind of put like a tarp up basically over the door that was smashed down and things. Um, mm -hmm. There's a, a lady in there, um, kind of currently just um, yeah, just kind of packing things into boxes. Okay, uh, I'm gonna. Uh look through the window and just give it a, a small little <laughs> you can see and like a little wave jump like as soon as she hears that and kind of turns towards you and is like oh yeah oh, God, no, no. Uh, oh, we're, we're closed we're closed yeah Shahil is gonna hold a bag of gold and just kind of swing it across like like above <laughs> like Rael's head just like we have money <laughs> you, know? you have a persuasion check okay <laughs> <laughs> Uh, persuade to find it. Oh, I'm mad proficient in that shit. <laughs> mad. <laughs> oh my god, wait, hold on. Uh, 20. 30. 30. 
So yeah. it's like, she kind of, like, you see her eyebrows raise, and she kind of gives you a wink, and she kind of waddles over to the door, kind of, like, moves the tarp to the side, and she says, uh, Hello, how can I be of service? We are clearing out here, but I can't bring everything with me to, uh, to Olympus, so I will take, you know, and uh, we have a few things on sale. How can I help you? Uh, well, good afternoon to you, ma'am. Uh, we, we were wondering if we could just have a quick look at what wares you have. We, we heard some really good things about this store. Oh. It's just before you leave for Olympus. Sure. We didn't want to miss it. Yes, absolutely. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. She kind of lets you all in. She's kind of uh, got most of the things in boxes at the moment, but she starts kind of taking things out. She brings out a bunch of these kind of needles um, mm. that she kind of lays out on the floor. They're kind of, they look like they're made of this like blue um, metal of sorts. She brings out a bunch of these little pins and she Ooh. brings out a, a gem and inside it looks like there's these embers crackling inside of it. Ooh. Um, she pulls out a, kind of dusts off and polishes off and pulls a few barnacles off this one armor uh, that she kind of puts to the side it's like a breastplate um, it's like a fish net attached to it and things like that and it's, 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 it kind of smells a little fishy but uh, <laughs> it's uh, she's trying to pat patch it up as much as she can she pulls out um, a very long um, she pulls out a long sword um, and I'll get you to make a history check quickly um, uh, rail as she uh, pulls it out it's got this beautiful, yep. intricate design, kind of leafy patterns. Okay. Hmm. Can I uh, uh, see what, like, just kind of, I don't know if I can roll for it, so, like, see what the ember and the needles are all about? Yeah, uh, you can make an arcana check if you'd like. Uh, uh, I got an 18 on my history check. 18, you can tell immediately it's kind of super recognizable that this blade that she pulls out is uh, of elven design, uh, eldritch awesome. design in particular. Um. <laughs> So you would know as well, Eladrins exist in the Vale, like true Eladrins exist in the Vale in this kind of Nirvana world of sorts that you can only get to through a single portal um, that is, you're actually pretty close to it right now. I'll tell you now the exact portal. Actually, you know what? I'll pull up a map. That I can, I can, that's a better way to, to describe it to you. So bear with me here. Um, yep. What did Shaheel get though in the meantime? I don't know shit, I got seven. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Okay, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah they, they, they're probably magical. <laughs> There's like fire inside a crystal and they're very wow. sharp needles. Uh, oh. very like, you would know though that the uh, the needles are probably for a blow dart. Uh, oh, oh yeah, see, that's cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's about 30 of them there that she kind of oh. pulls out. Um, so I'm going to just... Uh, um, okay, here we go. So, oh, yeah. Um, so you currently are here in Orkill. Uh, you would know, uh, Rail, that uh, this place on Gyata um, is within uh, Koltedriot, which is this magical woods that is nearly impossible to travel through unless someone wants you to travel through it. Uh, it's filled with mist, and a lot of people who just enter this place are turned right back around on their heels and come right back to the other side. Okay. Uh, but if you get to Angiata, uh, you don't really know what's there. You do know that there's a gate, um, and it takes you to uh, Unashod, which is like the, um, it's also known as the Emerald of the Vale. And this is like a Nirvana of sorts. This is a world almost separated from the rest of the Vale. It's uh, nearly impossible yeah. to get to. And this is where true elves come from, like true Eldrin. Every yeah. other elf that you see outside of this are ones that have left um, this world and gone into the, the rest of the world and they've kind of absorbed whatever um, culture or environment that they've existed. So yeah. true elves are like, um, are like sponges, essentially, uh, unless they stay in here. And so this gotcha. is the, it's a beautiful design blade. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna if he uh, he's just gonna motion to the blade to ask if he can pick it up for closer inspection. Mm -hmm. I'm um, going to make and... a persuasion check for me actually. Just... 
Okay, well that's fine. I'm proficient in that. Uh, <laughs> inspiration. I haven't used that in a while. Yeah, she she likes you already. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go for it. Hell yeah! Oh, that's great. That's that's twenty seven. <laughs> twenty seven. All right. So as you pull it up, you kind of ask her to look at it. She's like, absolutely. I have, you've got a taste for the Moonblade. Very nice choice. Well done, design. Moonblade, you say? Yeah. Uh, it's going to hold it very gently, sort of inspecting the actual blade itself to see how uh, how it's cut and how it how it looks. Um, sort of just admiring it. Well, oh, this is this is exquisite. This is this is elven, is it not? Yeah, that was a very keen eye. <laughs> yes, well, I guess I have a knack for these things. Mm, it's a beautiful good. blade. Yes, it is. Uh, I've been able to get rid of it, though. There's a few nicks and tears. It's been bashed up, and it's a bit too expensive for people's taste. How, how expensive are we talking? Oh, about 800 gold pieces. For such an exquisite piece. Hundreds. Eight hundred, yeah, that's my dear. Huh. I am going to check my inventory <laughs> to see how much gold I actually have apart from the fifty. One sec. That's it. Uh where's my Monday? I <laughs> still don't really have enough. Um well and that is price that you give, even though it has got these nicks in it. Um, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> Can I try and distract her just with how beautiful I look? You can roll with advantage, Rail. I <laughs> have them. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, one sec. <laughs> 22. <laughs> oh, you know, it has a bit damaged, and I have been trying to get rid of it for a while. Let's say I'll give it to you for 700. How does that sound? Damn, just bitch, dude. <laughs> well, that is See? quite a, a generous offer, but uh, I'm afraid I'm still a bit short. I, I wonder if there is something that I can give you in return. Uh, he will just kind of start patting his pockets a bit, mm. um, trying to see if he has got anything worth, <laughs> worth something. Mm -hmm. One sec, let me, let me have a look. She's kind of now looking look over, like, her glasses, like, into the bag, trying to be a bit nosy, kind of seeing what you actually have. He, he's just gonna, um, he's, he's putting on a bit of a... Kind of like when you have the cashier voice at work. He's he's being a lot more uh, friendly faced. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Just giving her a smile. Like, uh, let me have a look. You know, for the seven hundred, I could throw in maybe a couple of these uh, potions of healing, perhaps, and sweeten the deal. It's very generous of you, madam. Uh, if, hmm, I don't really have that. My, like, my javelins aren't anything special, are they? They're just normal javelins. Just regular javelins, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, okay. Um. Mm, wait, I have a, I have a pearl necklace that... Oh. I have it written down. It's like pearl necklace statins. It's powerful. It has a name. Yeah. Um, and it it's calling my name, and it's tuned to regain a spell shot. Spell slot. Is, yeah, is that yeah. anything? Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Power. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty good weapon. A pretty good. Uh, he's he's gonna put down the sword for a moment, very gently. Um. Oh wait! I keep hearing something. Cat, you're not muted. <laughs> we keep hearing something. Rude, bitch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to pick her stuff out here. Sorry, honey. Um, you will put it down. Uh, if if I may, I'd I'd love to look at some of your other wares, if if possible. Oh yeah, so we have uh, quite a few things. Like we've got our 
Uh, an elemental gem of fire here. Some some blue gut needles if you're that into that kind of thing with the marina's armor. Touch a blade that you've just been interested in. We have one pearl of power hanging around here. A pot of awakening. You plant a little seed in there and grow a little shrubbery that'll speak to you like it's your own little child for those who are lonely. A couple of potions of healing. We've got a couple of spell scrolls left over. A wall of fire. A message. And uh, a good luck stone. How about a... Um, he's going to lean over with Shireya like, what was it again? It was an uh, arcane tablet. What, what about an ar arcane tablet? Do, do you have that? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Do I? Arcane tablet? Hmm. Yes, it's, it's about... He also gestures with his hands uh, about this big. Uh, it's of inscribed stone. I've We've been looking for it for quite a while now. And we heard that you might have it. Yeah, I'll get you to make a deception check for me. Well, that's okay. I'm also proficient in that. So. Thank you. I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm a little liar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a 19. Okay. Oh, I love you. Nice. So you can see, in that moment, she says, oh, suppose I did have a way of um, acquiring such a tablet, if you are talking about the tablet. Very piece of uh, Arcana herself, one of the... Yes, literal yes. fabrications of magic itself. If I could acquire something like that, I assume you have the coin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sorry, I mean... <laughs> you know, a thing like that, you know, one of a kind, ancient relic that has never been seen by more than, I would say, 50 mortals in its time of existence, something like that. It costs a lot of money, about 200,000 gold pieces. Well, that is certainly worth the price, madam, isn't mm, it? It would absolutely be, if I had it, of course. Fortunately, I've already shipped it off uh, ahead of time in a very safe um carriage that I know will be protected. Um, and I insight check <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just want to say that it doesn't matter what villains you throw at us, I will forever <laughs> hate this woman the most. <laughs> that was a, a 22. 22. Wow. Yeah, she, she, she rolled a 19 altogether for her deception <laughs> check. But yeah, you can see that there's a little bit of her eye twitching and a little bit of, um, you know, like, uh, sweat is kind of dripping down the side of her temple and she kind of quivers a little bit when she talks and can't quite look you directly in the eye. She She's a good liar, but you know she's lying. She probably... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, it's just ob observing her uh, little uh, micro movements and uh, oh, um, very gently take uh, her hand in his and place his other hand over the top. Um, giving it a small kiss, like... E. Wait, no. Wait. Let me let me get my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's kind of <laughs> leans in as well as you do this as well. Just like her... She kind of leaves in a short little... <gasps> as you kiss her hand. <laughs> it really would mean a lot to us, even if we can just get a small look. If you please. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> uh, persuasion, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh no. Uh, that was a 21. Oh, oh I've got what? Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to get Ross today, honey. You see her kind of go like beet red and she kind of takes her hand back out of your hand and she just like starts playing with her dress a little bit and kind of flattens it all down. She says, all right. <laughs> she kind of shuffles off into the back room for a few moments. You can hear, <laughs> like, just kind of stand off and just. <laughs> well, while she's gone. She was just gonna like look at Rael and then kind of look away and then just again just that was good. Um, also, I'm. He's gonna lean in. I'm trying so hard not to steal those needles right now. Just I want them so I, bad. I know. Trust me, I realize. <laughs> okay, so cool. They they do look good. Maybe 
Maybe we can try and get some sort of a deal. Here we are. She pops open uh, the door like with her ass and like pulls out. She has a lead box in her hands, this flat lead box, and pops on the table. Well, just a look. Thank you. That's this again. Very generous of you, madam. You see, there's like a, a code on this thing as well that she starts winding and she puts in different numbers to like unlock it and she also takes out a couple of keys and unlocks a few of the locks on it and mm. eventually opens up the whole thing and spins it around for you to see and you can see this now glass it looks like glass this transparent uh tablet um with all this text on it written in um primordial yeah okay or, um, uh, yeah, I think it's primordial. okay uh, <laughs> no, he's a bit stuck. He's like, uh, okay, how do we do this? I haven't haggled in so long. I would like, uh, Shaker would like to kind of lean, lean in a bit, kind of like, you know, like the pretty boy, shit. And he's like, <laughs> oh, it's almost as beautiful as you, man. Stop, stop. <laughs> and she closes it up again and starts locking it closed again and refixes the, the wind up lock. Pops under her arm. It's very beautiful indeed. I know, but I could never be compared to such perfection. Oh. Mm. Now you're very is... lovely boys. Is there anything you would like to purchase? Or are you just here to, you know, pull on the heartstrings of little old me? Of of course not, madam. It's, uh, it's just a bit of a shame that we haven't the coin for this wonderful piece. It's something that will be handy. Oh yes, of course. There's, uh, you are you are aware of things going on around Gusta, aren't you? Oh yeah, some very intrusive things. I know that uh, you two were briefly accused of. Kidnapping the queen, I believe, but I believe that was all, you know, just a misunderstanding. I was invited to your party later on today, but um, I have to pass, I have to pack, and there's a few people in that group of yours that I just had a bit of a, a rough time with, you know what I'm saying? I assume you were sent here by one of them to, you know, inquire about the item. Like, I can, I can help you with any of these things that I'm trying to sell off, of course, but this, she pats the, the box under her arm. I have to keep in uh, safekeeping. Mm. Huh. Well, he just kind of looks between the the darts and and the blade again. Um, mm. The any other sort of way that you would be willing part. With, uh, in any way at all? With what? My tablet? If you may. I think I will uh, hold on to the tablet and I have to find, you know, the person who, uh, you know, rightfully deserves to take it on and who might be able to repair the broken weave in other worlds. Uh, broken weave? Yes. Yes, yes. Do I long. know anything of this? Uh, you wouldn't. No. No? Oh, okay. Uh, no, actually, give me a history check. Uh, okay, boss. <laughs> hmm. Let's go. Come oh, on, baby. Okay, that's not too bad. That's a plus four, so that's a 17. 17. There was two characters you met before arguing about it oh. one time. You, you can't quite remember it was, like, it was... You've heard something about a broken weave or broken magic or something once before. Uh, a while back when you were in Chult. Uh, that's why your brains, your memory's kind of going like, was that, who was that? Was that two individuals? You can't quite remember their names. You remember them bickering at a table at one point. That's what your memory, that's where your memory stretches to. Um, but I don't, I don't know enough to kind of deceive her on it. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know. It's up to yourself. 
You do um, know that other worlds are facing... No, I'm not going to... Boring were you with the world of dunamancy and the like. Dunamancy, you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can I try and... <laughs> can I try and... Uh, get Chia to, like, appear behind me? Sure. <laughs> Why, what are you saying uh, to him? Uh, I'm just like... I don't know, he's like... Listen, we, we really need this, this tablet and we're gonna, you know, use it to, to also help you. Would you maybe... Just wanna show you yourself, maybe? Just Do you even know what the fuck that tablet is lad? I have I have no idea. Neither but... do I. <laughs> no, but, like, but you're really, really powerful and maybe she'll get a shot because you're so big and, yeah, and you look really powerful. What the fuck are you gonna do with an agent and I like you have no idea what it even does? Do you I even know, know what it does? Like what if no, by all you gonna... know it... We're gonna figure it out. You, you, you know, you have, you have knowledge, don't you? You, you know. I? Yeah, I so knowledge. Can, yeah, we can figure it out together. Maybe you know we're maybe a team if you maybe if yeah. Hey, but Ari, you get this tablet. What the fuck then? Well, that's what we figure out. I did, don't you know? Don't worry too much about you know. We we'll figure it out. We've killed things like yeah. You listen to yourself right now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm just asking. You just say no if you don't want to. I'm not your like fucking puppet to like show off as a party no, trick. No, like, no, oh look no, at the big strong no. man here. No, no, that's not what I'm. That's not what I'm. In. I'm sorry if that was what I was insinuating. You can just go back to sleep, I guess, if you want. <laughs> give me a give me a, a performance check. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I love their relationship. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh my god, hold on. That's uh That's a Frody again. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's like I'm not gonna fucking go back to sleep if I've not fucking sleep for the past thousand years or so, you fucker. And I'll show it. Yeah, at that moment. Well, you guys like you sleep all the time, don't you? Shut the fuck up! And he kind of shoves your head aside. He's already there, standing behind you, and just throws you down to the ground. You like slam down onto the floor, and he's got his hands on his hips. He's like, "Right, ass, give these fuckers the tablet and get the fuck out of this town." And uh, he's gonna make an intimidation check. <laughs> just lucky, like, what the fuck? Happy Father's Day! <laughs> 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 she was just waving to my yell like. I I think I yeah, you can see him for the first time, this jack guy, like, and he's like, kind of got his hands on his hips, and the, <clears throat> he's got this fur cloak, like, blowing behind him, um, and she just kind of walks past and, like, shuffles alongside him, pokes him in the chest, like, who the fuck are you? Get the hell out of my um, establishment right now, you uh, heathen, and she pokes gonna, him in the chest. I'm gonna, uh, um, I'm gonna help Shahil out with this, and I'm gonna <laughs> immediately drop to one knee, mm -hmm. and with a hand over my heart, like Lord Tear. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Give me a performance check for you as well. <laughs> I can, like, I can see the family resemblance. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, that's <laughs> Okay, that's, that was good. That was really good. I'm so happy with these. That's a fucking 18. 18. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, hold up. I'm actually going to get a small token I can use for him for now. Uh, I love you work. so much. He's so funny. Uh, I don't have a proper token. I've got to make him a token later. But um, for now, yeah. So he's just kind of like, he kind of puffs out his chest and he grabs the lady's hand and just crushes all the fingers in her oh, hand. Yeah. You watch it just like, crush like a can of Coke or something. He twists it. And he's like, hey, you fucking bitch, I'm the fucking feel lord of your name. And he's like roaring at her. And as he's roaring, like snow is coming out of his mouth. And her face begins to frost over. Her hair like flies back and her glasses just shatter and break it. And she's just like, uh, she's going to make another intimidation check with advantage. Oh my god. Okay. I'm in tears. Can I try and steal the dodge while all of this is happening? <laughs> Give me a slight hand check, yeah. My <laughs> oh my god. 
How is this any less chaotic than when I, I killed I, I did not even think you were so angry. <laughs> we started to do a diplomacy and it never works. Yeah. So we have to call the ghost. <laughs> I got it on natural 20. <laughs> okay, yeah, you just swipe them, pocket the, the needles inside the little box that they come with. And she's just kind of falling down, like like her whole arm's being twisted to the side now, and her whole body is shivering. She's just like, I will not take abuse from the likes of you individual heathens. I will not give you this tablet. My grandfather gave me this tablet a long time ago in order to protect all of the weave across every realm of it. And she here just like twists her whole arm entirely, slamming her down into the ground. He's like, I don't fucking care. You don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> And he's like puts his hand like his foot like over her head like slowly crushing no. her and she starts screaming just like oh god oh my goodness get the fuck off my oh, she starts like scrambling around on the ground please oh, no, I, please <laughs> she looks at you like with desperate eyes she goes, what have you done i i am i am i am um give us the tablet please <laughs> and, he, and he'll stop I, I get you to make one last intimidation check <laughs> so he was just looking at Rael and he's like really like you know like oh god but he's like I don't just, I'm just I'm, I'm, yeah hold on he's doing his best uh 18 19 20 21 22 23 all right she's just like oh god right <laughs> she just slides the box over to you and tear yeah, um, vanishes in a yeah I'm taking I'm taking it, I'm taking Rael's hand, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, to, uh, ma'am, I have a wonderful day, and I'm running. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and we're back to criminals. <laughs> no! <laughs> you what? No, I to tell okay, you. okay, before we run out, you can do it. Uh, oh, I just wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to... Just... <laughs> or just drop all the gold and just grab the sword and go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you doing? She's on the floor. Her, you Look at her hand now. It is just like... Oh, no. It's like if you get oh, tinfoil no. and just twist it all around. It's just like oh, turn into like a, oh. a twisted point. Like bone is shooting out of like her God. mangled uh, flesh. And she's just uh, on the uh, ground looking up at you. Just, I'm just, I'm gonna leave the, the, <laughs> just, just the gold that Wisteria gave me, the 1,900, okay. and, no, 1,000, 1,000 of it, I'll yeah. give to her on the floor, okay. I'll take the sword, and I'm just gonna go, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I, oh, oh my god, I, I'm, I'm so, yeah, so, no! I'm just, and, and it, <laughs> he's just gonna, like, try and mend her hand a little bit and then a fucking bolt. You see oh just one of her fingers, like, pop back into place and she just, like, she stands there just in bits, like, just... <laughs> in tears. I'm so... I did... I fought too, would you know, call her, but he's... Dude, yeah. I fight the violence. He's yeah. a lord. Uh, yeah, she really... <laughs> He's gonna look at Rael running up and he's just holding all of the stuff and he's like he's looking at Rael, he's like, I, I really you know, I thought I thought it was calmer but that but I I I I I assume wrong. And I I I I, I, I didn't know for it to end like that, but it the I yeah. Thank you so much too, you were wonderful. But um hold on a bit. He's gonna look at Rael again, he's like, I am so sorry, but I think we just you know, we do the feast and then we kinda just dash off. Uh, I, uh, Maybe. He's just kind of looking at everything like, uh, I, uh, well, I. Cool sword, though. N I said you got it. Um. I I, I paid for it. <laughs> oh yeah, so, I didn't. I, I, got, sorry, I took. Sorry, that that was with your money, Wisteria. Since since we stole the tablet, but yeah, I, I have the tablet. <laughs> Wisteria is literally like in a stance position, trying to learn how to use a sword. Like, <laughs> what? What happened? No, it's fine. I think we should, um, I think we should, uh, yeah, um, uh, it, it, he's just oh, gonna take it. the box you from Shahil, <laughs> just, it. like, oh, hand it to his stare. Oh, you got it! Uh, oh, lead got... box oh. now. It's oh. locked four times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. that, none of us know the password for. Oh, it's fucking fine. learn. It's fine. No, just, just, just I... keep it in, in there. No. Yeah, hide it. Hide it for now. Um. Uh, <laughs> okay. Wister okay. is like, just really confused. Like, why? 
Why are you guys sweating that much? Actually, um, the, uh, uh, what the, did you guys do? No, no, no. Uh, sorry, do you have some paper, please? Me? Yeah, he's yeah? Some, okay. he's he's a squirrel. Yeah. Do you have something to draw with as well? He, yeah. Here's a quill. Oh, thank you. Uh, Rael, uh, he's gonna just push Rael down so, like, his back is, like, you know, like a table. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> and, why are you like sweating? Can I try and draw, like, an, um, like, can I try and draw me and Rael, but, like, imposters, like, these aren't the real ones. There's imposters of these two people, and they're causing havoc. Can I try and draw? Yes, yeah, slide of hand check. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Wisteria literally oh, draws. I, I'm using my inspiration. Okay. <laughs> wait. No, no, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. You can ask Wisteria. She draws. Me, I saw so so you. What does she do? Oh, okay. I got another 20. Thank you Natural for the inspiration. 20. So, okay. yeah, in about, you know, it takes about, you know, 10, 15 minutes, but you get a pretty good, decent drawing of the two of you, and you kind of recreate the wanted poster that you did before. Yeah. Uh, there's no text on this. No. You've kind of got, they've got like, you know, you've, you've made them look slightly more gruff or butch or something like that. So they look slightly less like you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and he, he's going to kind of um, put, like kind of grab Rael. He's still kind of in a shock. The adrenaline is going. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> um, he's just grabbing him up and he's like, well, can you just write on this? Can you just say that these like, aren't us, they're imposters and they're just causing, you know, a bunch of stuff. It's not lying. It's just kind of twisting the truth a bit. Just, you know. Uh, it yeah, he's gonna hand him the, the pen, Just, please. And he's gonna bend down and like and do the table himself. <laughs> <laughs> Hands on his knees, like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I beg you. He's gonna, he's gonna do it. He's just so confused and the adrenaline. I'll get you to make a slight hand check for this as well. Slide of hand. Gabriel, I'm so sorry for causing so much havoc. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, that wasn't too bad. That was a sixteen. Uh, you're not the best at calligraphy, but you managed to make uh, it look again like the wanted posters that you've seen before, and you've made a pretty good interpretation of this poster that's basically saying that, you know, there's two people pretending to be you uh, out there <laughs> causing havoc around Orkill. Um, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I... I need... I need... To, uh, I, I can't I, have this sword. I, no, if I... See... I, I, um, uh, just hide it. Um, do we should go back to the, go back to the room. And he's also gonna give, like, the needles that he got, and he's like, just don't ask about that. And Rael, Shahil is gonna, like, put, like, because he knows the city, I, I assume, put the poster, like, the most, the, the place where, like, most people come over, so, like, yeah. everyone can see it, and it, the rumor can spread very fast. All right. And he's just gonna run off. Uh, okay. okay, he's gonna, he's gonna go with Shahil back to the... Uh, hotel room. Okay. Yeah, oh Wisteria is so, going to like worryingly follow, but okay. she's yeah. so in awe with the box. She's like, I need to go back. I need to work in secrets. <laughs> okay. Can we also have a quick break? We can absolutely have a small break there. Fix my internet. Yeah, hundred percent. So we're gonna take a small break there for anyone watching, and we'll come back in a half an hour. So um, yeah, we'll be back here at twenty-two three, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. ten, ten to three. Ten, ten to, to three. three. Sorry, apologies. It's twenty yeah. past. Oh, sorry. Now. No, yeah, <laughs> messed up. Ten to three. See you all then. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, I gotta fix it.
Oscar, Oscar will um, <laughs> yeah. will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you all right, mate? Frog! <laughs> oh, time frog! Do you, do you hit your head? Oh my god. <laughs> I, will, I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe! Very safe! <laughs> Turn all us right now. <laughs> like a thing where like the the sides of bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what bubbles is thinking like really you think i'm good at this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna look at i was like no but i don't think i'm any better you really want me to go up to that man a girl like oh it's okay she wasn't much of a lost lady you see i can't bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's well, the benefit. Uh, yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's 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 that then? Like, go go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because the accent is in bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>
Oscar will um, <laughs> will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you all right, mate? Frog. <laughs> on top, frog. Do you, do you hit your head? Oh my God. <laughs> I will. I will. To Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe, very safe. <laughs> <laughs> Turn all us right now. <laughs>
noticed that uh, Bubbles like does like a thing where like the the sides of Bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what Bubbles is thinking like really you think I'm good at this kind of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna look at I was like no but I don't think I'm any better you really want me to go up to that man? A girl like, oh, it's okay. She wasn't much of a loss. You see, I can't. Bubbles kind of points inside their mouth. And just, you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time. And Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like, I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's well, the benefit. Uh, yeah, right, that's true. Okay. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, go, go, what's, what's that then? Wait, go, go give Brian a, a hug. All Brian's upset because they have centers and bits on the floor. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my Thank you.
um, Oscar will um, <laughs> yeah. will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you all right, mate? Frog! <laughs> oh, time frog! Do you, do you hit your head? Oh my god. I will, I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. <laughs> Eternal Oscar right now. <laughs> like a thing where like the the sides of bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what bubbles is thinking like really you think i'm good at this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna look at i was like no but i don't think i'm any better you really want me to go up to that man a girl like oh it's okay she wasn't much of a loss see, see i can't bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's well, the benefit. Uh, yeah, uh, that's true. Okay, yeah. Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, what's, what's that then? Like, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because the accent is in bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, Oscar will um, will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you all right, mate? Frog. <laughs> on top, frog. Do you do you hit your head? Oh my God. <laughs> I will I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. <laughs> Internal Oscar right now. does like a thing where like the, the sides of Bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what Bubbles is thinking like really you think I'm good at this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna look at I was like no but I don't think I'm any better you really want me to go up to that man a girl like oh it's okay she wasn't much of a loss see, see I can't Bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's well, the benefit. Uh, yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, go, what's, what's that then? Wait, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because the accenters and bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, Oscar will um, <laughs> will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you all right, mate? Frog. <laughs> on top, frog. Do you do you hit your head? Oh my God. <laughs> I will I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. <laughs> Eternal Oscar right now. does like a thing where like the the sides of bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what bubbles is thinking like really you think i'm good at this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna look at i was like no but i don't think i'm any better you really want me to go up to that man a girl like oh it's okay she wasn't much of a loss you see i can't bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just, you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate, like, I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's the uh, benefit. Uh, yeah, that's uh, true. Okay. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, go, what's, what's that then? Wait, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because that accent is in bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, so people can hear us. Okay. So last we left off uh, here in Orkil, or Orkil, um, the party decided to do some shopping around the place, or shopping, quote unquote. Um, <laughs> So you went to the old magic shop that uh, you kind of had a run in with one of the ladies there earlier who has his magic tablet 
And you're like, hey, give us a tablet. And she's like, no, no, no. And so you're like, okay, we'll bring out this uh, fey lord um, to intimidate you. And the lady didn't know who Tyr was. So Tyr lost his shit and broke her hand. And uh, she gave over the, um, the tablet to you. You now have a locked lead box. But you're now running back to the... Uh, noble district with uh, where you're staying uh, currently uh, in Orca. Later on tonight there will be a big feast uh, to celebrate you saving all of Orca. So there will be a feast in your name. But before we get to any of that and before we get to where you're running off to uh, Quill you were going yes. to be doing some shopping as well. Yes. I was going to go find some stuff for sure. Grog and I. You got it. So uh, I would assume we just go to the same tailor that we went to before. Yeah, you got Green. Um, he is the, the tailor there. And uh, you can see, as you do make your way in, uh, Green, who is a half-orc, massive half-orc man, okay. is uh, kind of standing there, and there is uh, another woman there just fixing his um, a bow tie on him, like sizing it all up, and he's got like a nice kind of suit on, like a, a simple olive green... Um, um, what's the word? Uh, it's not suede, but you know, that kind of like wool, kind of when you mash up lots of wool together and it's like that, uh, it's a wool blazer that he's got on and she, yes. um, this other woman is like on a stool, like fixing his bow tie and you come in and you kind of like, oh, oh. hello there, <laughs> how's it going? What can I get you? Uh, hi, sir. Um, just looking for some alterations and some clothes for my friend. Kind of, you see his eyes just trail up the body of of Grog, and then he has this big, like, confident grin on his face, like, right, all right, all right, all right. He kind of whips out a tape and immediately starts dashing all around Grog, like, measuring him, measuring his biceps and everything. Grog's just standing there, just, ah, oh, uh. <laughs> um, and he's like, Ali, no problem, no problem now. Uh, what are you looking for exactly? This would be a masterpiece, I'd say. Um, for him, I was thinking something warm but stretchy. We are, we're going to be traveling to a pretty cold climate and I don't want my friend to fall asleep. Uh, yeah. I so, something this... to keep the warmth in. Right, I reckon this lad now here, he's, uh, he's a big one for breaking through clothes and all that, hence the, the little yeah. line cloth on him, right? So I can do Anything something stretchy. now. You're the, uh, you're the little uh, teebling, are you now? Who, uh... Yes. Uh, look, listen, be a pleasure to whip something up for him, no problem. I, uh, oh, have thank a, you. I have something for you lot as well later tonight, but I, I'll see you there. Um, I'll put something together. He can he can rep me as well. I'll put my brand on the back. And, uh, he can... Uh, um, Grog, do you have a favourite colour or anything? I like... Um, I do like the colour of blood. Maybe it's something bright red for you then? Hmm. Oh, what is my color, Quill? What the color of your scales? Uh, no, what is a good color for me? What for the you? color you like? Mm. I don't know colors good. I'm always partial to this kind of blue. She's gonna hold out her her coat, oh. but hmm. Maybe good. maybe a mix for you, because oh. I want you to. There's something you would like. Oh, like, and you like a bit of you and a bit of blood? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's good. Oh, and what the color of peanut butter? It depends on what you're peanut buttering. Uh, oh, I get a big peanut butter on the back. Like a picture of peanut butter, Kirk? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. I got the nice. peanut butter on the back. And then everybody knows I will kill them. Mom um, Greg, are you actually meaning peanut butter is in stabby stabbing or peanut butter is in what we eat? I sometimes eat the person I stab. No, like. Honey, do you know what actual peanut butter is? Does was did Wisteria tell you? You see him kinda of like sit down onto the ground, like cross his legs, kinda of lean forward, like oh no. Well, peanut butter is a type of squashed nut. <laughs> peanut. 
And then you, you yeah. slam it all together. Yeah, squash the nut. And then like you it, it ta you add some sugar to it, and it tastes nice, apparently. I'm not really partial to oh. it, because it, the consistency kind of gets stuck in your throat. Uh, I would like this all over my clothes. It's also the color brown. Is that the same as a poo? A little bit lighter. Okay, I do not want that. Okay. You, uh, you choose colors. I Quill, draw him a picture of me wearing a really scary outfit, really cool. She'll do that. <laughs> I'll have this designed to you, Gabe, to you next week. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so it's totally up to yourself. There's no rush on it at all, but yeah. Um, yeah, she's just gonna, there's like a, she's gonna ask for a pair of like fur lined trousers. Mm. Depend, she'll figure out the colors later. Mm -hmm. I say I. Um, <laughs> a nice like t shirt. Oh, I put that way too close. Mm -hmm. Nice t shirt. Um, mm. And she's gonna ask for like, uh, they have to all be stretchy. Yeah. Um, pair of boots and like a, a fur lined coat. Okay. Just all of those things. Cool. Just you can see this guy like just taking notes of all this and looking at your illustrations and sketching up more and kind of taking bits of bars from that. And he's like, Oh, like, this would be class. I'll have that too. Like, uh, tomorrow morning, maybe. Might be a day later. I can get someone to ship it to you, though. No problem. If you were able to, that'd be lovely. And you... um, mm. I just need a couple of alterations to the coat and a new pair of trousers and a holster for uh, I have some right. swords and stuff. Not I want to say I do that not for your favor for you, but if you if you if I'm not finished by tomorrow, um, I might get you up to pay for the courier and bring it ahead of time, uh, so you can pick it up. In uh, Cold Snap, that's a nearby town, just on the the border now between the Vale and Jotunheim. Cold Snap, was it? Cold Snap, right. Mm -hmm. I can, when I'm finished, yeah, I, can, I can send your clothes that way. That'd be perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Have a nice one anyway, and see you later tonight. See you at the party. See you at the Thank party. Thank you. Bye bye. So head out. Gonna start getting to work on that today. I just rolled for him. He's not gonna get it done tonight. <laughs> He's gonna be <laughs> fucking smashed. He's already um, slightly tipsy. I was also gonna wonder <laughs> if we could go to like an armory kind of place. I okay. wanted to find uh, a holster for a trident and a sword. Okay. A two in one. Yeah, it's easily done. So you can. How uh, much would all of this cost? By the I'll way? put you down. Like he's gonna do that for you, like as a favor. We can say for the okay. whole thing, uh, for all of that, we can say you can get it all for about 10 gold. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Get a whole Even right the, the carrier. Mm. Yeah, no, that's all fine. Okay, that's it. And then for the holster? Yeah, all, all together, the holster and everything. And we can just we can just say it's, it's 10 gold. Everything is 10. Oh my god, Gabriel, I love you. Thanks so much. Yeah, you've done a lot of favors for the town, so a lot of people are kind of <laughs> happy to, to help you out in your adventure and your journey. Yeah. Except that bitch. Yeah, no, Except she doesn't. Yeah, no, she's got a bit of a reputation with her. Um, yeah. So, is there anything else uh, Quill would like to, to buy? Uh, she, let, let me check my to do list. I got the Trident holster. I got the <laughs> a holster for myself. Oh, Jesus. I got that. I got that. I got that. Oh, I need Shit. a large bag. Large bag. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, please. I can say that you can head to like a, you know, um, what's it called, like a tanner or whatever, mm -hmm. um, leather work kind of character, and say you can head to like the, the slums, you're kind of put like, you kind of ask, or you ask around for like a good leather worker to make a nice bag, and everyone points you to the, the kind of refugee area of the, mm -hmm. um, the town, and the half human, half goblin uh, who works there is actually a really good shoemaker and, you know, bag maker works with leather like like sculpting clay um, and mm -hmm. uh, he'd happily make your bag and he said he can have it ready for you tonight and um, so he's gonna put together a bag for you and 
just... How much would that cost for me? To uh, for a large bag, he, he, he'll, he'll do it for you for five gold. I'll give him ten. Just okay. You see his eyes also ten. widen again. He just doesn't know how to, to deal with all of this, um, you know, generosity that your party is bringing to, like, all these people. But he, he takes it. Nonetheless, he doesn't want to be embarrassing you or himself for anything. So he takes the money and gets to Thank work. you. Boom. Making this. No problem. Thank you. He, he's got about eight kids, like, dangling off him. He's, like, just trying to scoop them all away, like, back in the door and just kind of nods to you. This will gonna sound weird. Does he look like he's related to me? No. Oh, thank <laughs> the lord. Okay. Oh! Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm so worried. Like, everyone that's half goblin is related <laughs> to me. <laughs> There's a lot of goblins in this town. Um, for sure. Okay, good. And they're all related to you. Yeah! <laughs> this whole town is my family. <laughs> uh, cool. So, anything else then before you head off? Or is that you're happy with that? Uh, she just kind of wanted to... If we can find a quiet space, she just wanted to see if she could contact Abel. Cool. So we can say you can find a nice place in the park. You can nuzzle down just kind of by one of the graveyards in the park and take a moment and I'll get you to make a religion check to, to see if you can tune in. Can I use my inspiration? You can. <laughs> wow! No, that's not any better. <laughs> Jesus Christ, whenever I want to have a chat with any of my ghosts, they're like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> Eight, nine, got 11 together. 11. So you kind of like, kind of try to focus on the crown that you have currently, try to use it as a focus, think about Abel, try to draw him out there, but it's kind of like, it's like trying to remember how you did something, like, you, like there was a muscle or something that you tensed up and everything. And the more you think about it, the more you overthink it, you can't quite connect yeah. to him. And it's just like, it just doesn't work out. He's going to lean back into the glass. Like, Fuck. Okay. It is okay. You will be able to talk to the um, hat soon. Hopefully. Cook just kind of rustles busy. your hair. <laughs> we better get to the others. I wonder what they've done. Oh. I don't know, maybe they kill some people, that'd be good. That would be funny. Uh, Let's hope not, though. Uh, okay! And he picks you up by like the, the collar and throws you up onto his shoulder. Let's go. Let's go. He like puts out his hands and just starts running like a plane, just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just way too fast, Grok. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> just zooming through crowds. She's gonna oh. hold on tight, be like, Jesus, oh god, I don't know fall and die again. <laughs> Especially nobles in the district as well as you're running past them, they kind of fall off to the sides like, oh god, oh no, oh Jesus. Sorry, uh, run away lizard. <laughs> and uh, eventually you make your way back uh, to the, the, you know, fancy hotel. So we're gonna ask yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's see how traumatized everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, it's grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's have some good crack. <laughs> <laughs> some good crack. So some good crack. Crack a like him. So you have to <laughs> run through here. Shahil and Rael and Mysteria, you're coming down here and we're gonna say um yourself, Serafina, you're kinda like just checking out this whole place and eventually see a kind of uh, you know somewhat distracted rail and she heal and wisteria come through the hallway like wisteria is holding a box mumbling to themselves and rail and she healed kind of stressed somewhat Pretty there because it's a big pillar there oh so what sorry you yeah no worries you don't I'm have to sorry. do anything obviously but... actually um just skip me for for like five minutes because I think I need to switch into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, sure. So um, we can say yeah, you're just kind of browsing currently at the moment. Um, Shield Rail and Wisteria, what are you doing when you do first come into this place? I'm going. I'm dragging the both of them kind of <laughs> into um, our room, like oh, our room floor, <laughs> the room that me and Rail were in. Yeah. Um, and I'm. Uh, 
just under the bed. I'm just kind of throwing my needles. I'm taking the sword from Ray. I'm like, excuse me, Ben. He's gonna put it under the bed. <laughs> and he's gonna, he's gonna like look at the bot, like the the arcana thing, trying to like he's reaching his hand up, but he's like, oh, okay, no. But you, was there? You have to keep that a secret, okay? You you, you should just hide Hi. it for now. You, you guys got it fair and square, right? You're like the righteous guys. You do everything by the book. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But but you know, did this this thing that happened, right? He's gonna look at Rael kind of for I, permission. It's my perception high enough for me yeah, to you give me an insight that, like... check. Do yeah, I have to roll? Yeah, 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 you give me a sh you give me a, um, a deception check, Shio. But uh, okay, okay. insight. You give me an did insight you check. Yeah, for okay. hysteria. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> a vibe check. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Did you say 20? I have 23. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, I've got 18. 18? Oh, close. You're both very good at these things, but I guess... Yeah. Yeah, she heal is trained in, in lying. <laughs> it's, a, it's a master but, of it. But uh, before he even lies, he's gonna look at, at Rael kind of for permission. <laughs> he's still a bit just like... <laughs> uh, just not like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, he's just like a poly, like apologetic smile. He's gonna look at Wisteria, and he's okay. So what happened, right? Is that you know since me and me and Rail got framed before? Yeah. Yeah, there were these two people who have taken on taken on our form. You know, kind of like Rail can change into be other people. Yeah, but he said he liked his skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But th th yeah, this isn't about Rail. There's some other people who can change, and they look like us. And okay. they stole a bunch of stuff, um, oh. including they think that we that you know th that we stole this stuff, but we got it fair and square. But we have to hide it for now, or else some people are gonna get really mad. Okay, but once no. we're out of our kill, you can use it. So, some people who are in your skins went yes. into the store that I previously went into. Yes, stole a bunch of stuff. Yes. And now you guys are being accused of it. Yes. But if but, you guys bought this tablet fair and square, then why why do but, I have to hide it? They did because the people who are in your skins didn't steal this tablet. No, 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 but the shopkeeper thinks that she did, even because she's old you and guys confused. Paid for it. Yes, yes, but she's old and confused, you see. You reckon that's why she turned me into a rat? Exactly, that's why. The old people are just angry sometimes. So we have to just keep it low, have a grand time at the feast, and then we're out. While in the the, the, the while we're traveling, you, you you can look at the book. But for now, you should you should hide it someplace safe. Can I look at how Riel is? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, he has. Like, how is his... Um, he's very poker faced right now. Uh, you can't. It probably will be a bit difficult to read him, uh, but he will just kind of raise his eyebrows like, mm, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to make an inside check, you can. It's up to yeah. you. <laughs> Alright, so Rail, you <laughs> also make a deception check. Yeah. Oh, no. Why are we like or actually, this? No, because you're, you're not... Huh? I'm trying to, no, just for keeping your composure, you're not directly lying, I'll just get you to make a performance check instead. Performance, okay, yeah. He's not, he's, yeah, he's not lying. So. No, I'm lying. <laughs> You're lying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, okay, that was a 19. Okay. Fuck me, I'm doing really bad. Oh. I've got a plus nine on insight. Wow. I'm 15. Damn, oh. okay. So yeah, you kind of look at rail and you're like, seems kind of just same old rail, blank face, just like, <laughs> seems pretty mm. relaxed. I'll give you an inspiration though for <laughs> dealing with it. Yeah. <laughs> with it very well I'm there. Dealing with lying to you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Marissa. <laughs> no. It's fine. Who got the inspiration? Was you it did. You, oh, you. No, no, you did. Oh, 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 it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're handling it all very uh, well, even though your character's been lied to. I think it's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Let's just keep it safe in in your room. Okay, yeah. just put it somewhere yeah. deep in your bag. But what if someone now. tries to steal it? Um. Well, it's in this box. I don't think anyone will really know what it is, but... Maybe you can, you know, make a little cover for it so it's all special and also hidden. 
like your, your own little special he's trying he's talking to her like a kid because he doesn't really know how to talk with her <laughs> like you know, you know like a, a little special thing just just for you like a little book you can make yeah, it i do cover. have a, a, a letter cover but i don't know if that would fit this box how oh. big is this box uh, it's pretty large. It's, you know, it, I was going to say a bit bigger than an iPad. That's a, not a great comparison. <laughs> Depends what iPad you're yeah, talking exactly. about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Maggie's iPad it's... is literally like an A4. <laughs> like, uh, now that you have like the player's hand, let me just see here. I'm just getting a ruler out. Um, it would be about... 40 centimeters wide. Oh my god. Um, oh. And it, it, it's pretty large and like about, you know, 30 centimeters, um, you know, long or whatever, right, you know. It's pretty, it's pretty big. It's, 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 uh, yeah, it's a large tablet. It was quite a large tablet. It's not like a small pocket size thing. It's, it's, um, size of a large book, like, uh, an atlas almost, a bit bigger. I mean, I did buy some silk. I guess I can just wrap it up nice. Yeah, and you're really, really good at drawing too. So you can make it all pretty. And then you can show Savian at some point. Or Ghostly. I think Ghostly would like it too. Mm. But, okay. But, but you got you got the tablet. And I you're do. and you're smart enough to, to crack it open, I'm, I'm sure. You think I'm smart? Yes. Ah, Thank you. You're welcome. So, so you should go in your room real quick and, and do that. I need to talk with Rail real quick. Hey, okay. Uh, yes. thank you. And just gonna just like quickly hug Shahil and Rail and be like, bye! <laughs> just like fly into a room. <laughs> so as you kind of head past, you see now Quill and uh, Grog racing through Quill on Grog's back, just <laughs> Oh god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another bird! Let us attack it! Ah, he like leaps on top of Wisteria. Hi, Wisteria! Hi, what happened? We are getting new clothes. I got good <gasps> clothes. I got some stuff. How did you trip her? <gasps> Come into the room. I've got a secret to show you. <laughs> oh. Let's go, then. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, okay, so I, uh, pinkies out, give, show me your pinkies. Showing. Okay. I literally took my pinky okay. out for you. You, you have to promise me that you cannot tell anyone else about this, because Shahil made me promise to hide this, so if you guys tell anyone else, I'm legally allowed to kill you. <laughs> She's gonna look at Grog. She uh, us. It is fine. Yeah, sure. Okay, you, so um, and Mister is just gonna like pull it out of her back and go. Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Isn't it is so pretty. It's so magical. Imagine all the things I could do with this. It's a box. It's a black box. Okay, I probably should have told you guys what it was. It is inside a box. Yeah. Okay, there's like a lot of locks in this, but. Ta -da! It's the arcane tablet from Arcana herself! Such precious power in my hands! Isn't this amazing? Oh, oh Rhea! All the things I could manage to do with this! Yes, but okay, so listen here. Okay, take a seat, this is a big story. And I'm sure just gonna like, get comfy and just go, Alright, kids, now. She's gonna sit cross-legged on the floor. And just go, <laughs> okay. So, uh, they went to the store, right? But apparently, before they went into the store, or like after, I guess, maybe after, I don't know. Sometime, mm -hmm. like, whilst they were trying to shop, um, these two people who, I don't know if they changed things or not. He, Shahil just said they changed skins, and mm -hmm. they some people changed skins into, like, Rayal and Shahil, and they went into the store, mm -hmm. and they stole a bunch of stuff. And oh. then... I know. So now Shahil and Rael were obviously being blamed for um, for stealing this stuff, even though they didn't. Mm -hmm. Like you know, with like with the kidnapping, and yeah. 
And they they bought the the tablet fair and square, but apparently the lady is very is is very old and confused, so she couldn't she couldn't uh -huh. tell if Freyal and Shahil were the ones who stole it, even though like you know they bought it. So, uh -huh. um, there I can't show it to anyone, so I have to to keep it secret. So, um. That's why we gotta hide it. So I've gotta make a cover for it and do a little drawing and then share it to 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 Zavion and um and Ghostly. But we gotta keep it a secret because obviously Royal and Shahil might get hunted again and if they do get hunted obviously it's a bad thing. So I can't show it in Orkill. I can only show it outside of Orkill. And then I can maybe try to tamper with it. But right now I can't, so it's gotta be hidden so you can't tell anyone. So I'm going to hide it goes on um, for under the next 10 minutes. just nodding our heads like, yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm going to hide it under my pillow and sleep on top of it so that if anyone comes near it, I'm just going to stab them with my pretty little rainbow katana. <laughs> and then uh, they won't be able to you touch it anymore. Went, uh... yeah? Do you actually know how to use a katana? Oh no, but Riel said you'll teach me. <laughs> you do know it's gonna take longer than one session to learn a katana, right? Um, how long do you think it'll take for you to learn how to use um, it? I'm not sure, but I tend to pick up stuff quite easily. Typically in D&D, &D, to like learn a new skill or a new proficiency, it takes a year. Oh, Babe. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Just so you know. Gabe. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I had this with the the years recently. They wanted to learn a new set of tools, so we looked it up, and it was like I was thinking like, oh, two weeks or something. It's like no, it's it's a year, <laughs> two years. Even for like a smart person. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I'm very smart. <laughs> That is the yeah. smart person version. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> even even though you're smart, like it's different from using something physically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It takes um, about a year of training to be that. like proficient in using a especially yeah, this proficient. weapon as well. Yeah, but, so that means right. you you can still use it, but you don't add your proficiency when you're making attacks with it. That's fine, I'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully yeah. you're able to use it does go with your colour palette. Oh. Thank you. I do oh, think okay. it's very pretty. Although, do you want I me don't... to try and unlock the box a bit? Because it, it seems like there's quite can... a few. <gasps> you reckon you can do it? Okay, I can here, try and unlock it, but I just don't think if Rayal and Shahil said not to open it. They don't it, need to know! <laughs> I think they would have oh, said. No, no they're not here right now. They can't see me. See? Mm -hmm. And she's gonna use Formaturgy on the door. What the fuck? Um... And the door is gonna close. Oh, okay. <laughs> we had the whole conversation and the door was wide open. Yeah? You think I closed the door behind me? Uh we pink. Like, see, the doors are closed. They not they don't need to know. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, like... do it, do it. Here, here, here. Please, Quill, pretty please. Oh pretty please. Please. Fine, please, I'll try and open please. it, but if you get in trouble, I'm not getting involved. I just, I oh, heck, what's the worst that could happen? She has already oh, tried God. to kill me like five times. What's one there more, There is right? worse things that could happen. You could get turned into a rat again. Yeah, but I came back. It's fine. Oh, do, right. it. Uh, yeah, do it. Do it. I have, uh, I've changed, I've found a video recently. Uh, it's by someone called Ben's World Building, and he changed lockpicking into a mini game. For, for D &D, so. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna try it out. So yeah. basically, um, yeah. the way this goes, there are four locks on this. Mm -hmm. uh, you you would quickly, very uh, quickly, just examine the box. The first lock is pretty easy. It's only got one pin that you need to unlock. Next one's got two pins. Next one's got three pins. And the next one's got last one's got four pins. Mm -hmm. um, and essentially, what you do when you try to pick the lock. Uh -huh. You roll a number of six-sided dice equal to the number of pins that you have to break. So for the first one, it'll be one. If you roll a one, if you ever roll a one, you've damaged the lock and you can't uh, break it or it gets harder to break. Um, oh. so, but because if you are proficient in thieves' tools while unlocking something, you can spend yes. what you can use your thieves' tools proficiency 
to re-roll a d6 once. And for every sneak attack dice that you have, every d6 is sneak attack, you can also re-roll it. But you can only use these, uh, you can only use the sneak attack abilities uh, once per long rest. So, You're going to have to tell me I'll, this I'll talk you I'm through doing. Yeah, so first of all, for the first pin, I'll get you to roll a d6. Okay. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> it's a one. You fuck up the first lock. <laughs> and you're like, you're fiddling in there with the, the thieves' tools, and eventually you just, you're like a grinding, and you can't get your thieves' well, tools I, out. I don't add my thieves' tool. No, enough. Oh, wait, you, oh, you can. You can re roll it, actually. Sorry. Apologies. Can you can re roll you can re-roll ones. So you've used your thieves' tools proficiency now when you're unlocking this. Okay, so that's the only one I can use. So if I fuck up later, I won't be able to use it. You can also use, use your sneak attack dice. You can always, with, with a new lock, you can use mm -hmm. your thieves' proficiency proficiency to reroll one dice with your sneak attack damage they're kind of extra and once they're expended you can't do it until a long rest so the sneak attack one is the one i can't use after i use it the first time yeah yeah exactly okay i got a six okay so first pin you're kind of fiddling around you're like oh and then you click it um so you've used one thing how many sneak attack dice do you have actually i don't know that actually how do i uh, what level of rogue are you i am a level four rogue Okay, I think you probably just had two, but I'll just double check. Um, level four, yeah, 2d6. So, have you used one of those, or have you used your thieves' proficiency, your tools' proficiency thing? I'm using my thieves' proficiency. Thieves, okay, so you can reuse this now for the next lock, if you want. So, next one, you have to roll 2d6. 2d6? Yeah, two six-sided dice. Let's get a d6 out, baby! And let me know what you get on each of those dice. Okay. These this dice does not like me. It's a two and a one. Okay. Again. Do you want to re-roll one of the ones? Yes. Okay. Go for it. Two and a three. Two and a three. So yeah, you managed to unlock the next lock. Two pins up. Uh, go on to the next one then. Okay. There, so far, you've spent about. Um, so it takes for depending on the pins as well. It takes a little longer for each one. So far, we'll say you spent about two minutes. Um, okay. Just over We're two Getting two more dice pins. out. Give me a second. Yeah, sure. So you got to now one with three pins. Okay. So I roll three, six, seven, eight. I want to luck pick stuff too. This is so fun. <laughs> I got a four, a six, and a two. Okay, so this next one, bink, bink, bink. You're getting kind of used to it. You're starting to uh, get into the rhythm of it. It's been a while, but you just pop up those three pins, and now you're on the last yeah. lock, so you roll four dice. Okay. okay. Six, a five, a three, and a three. Three, so you get all four unlocked. Oh! Um, I will say, I might, I might tweak these rules, but I think that's kind of, maybe I think it should be like a two and a one for like a fail, but we'll see. I'm, I'm not sure which one works well, but um, perfect, no, for this case, you unlock all four of them, Last thing that's left is there's a pin code um, for the to actually unlock it and figure out the code. So I'll get you to make a um, a just a thieves tools check for this one. I'll get you to make thieves that. tools check. Yeah, so yeah. I would add my proficiency number for that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, these tool is a plus 12, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 altogether. 19 altogether. Okay. Uh, you kind of, you, you work it out, you spend about, I don't know, five more minutes on this thing, just trying to unlock it and figure out exactly what's with this box. You try several codes and you're just waiting for a click. Um, you can't quite figure out the pin yet. You know you've got two numbers so far, but there's like six to figure out. Um... And you can spend some more time on it, but you're kind of like, you're starting to lose touch with it as well. Your fingers are going numb and shaking and everything else. So we'll say for now, it'll take some tinkering with some numbers. It's all going to be a bit random from here. So each day I can say you can make a thieves tools check to try to unlock that pin. Yeah, she's just going to lean back and just go. Ah. Okay, I unlocked the first four. There's the passcode, but... <laughs> Mm -hmm. It it I only got the first two numbers. It may take me a couple of days to get how it. How many how many unlocked. numbers are there? 
at six. Okay. It, it shouldn't take me too long. I'll be able to try again tomorrow. But we'll be on the road then anyway. And you, you think distance. you can do it? I should be able to do it. I was a bit finicky, but... I've got small hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Quill! I'm just gonna, like, hug Quill again. I'm like, oh, are you so tiny? It's so nice to hug. <laughs> Okay, 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 where's my silk? And she's gonna like rummage on the floor. Mm. And be like, okay, okay, here's the silk. Let's wrap this up nice. <laughs> there you go. I'm just gonna like fold it up like a little bento box. Perfect. <laughs> like, there you go. And I'll put it under my pillow. Let's put it under my pillow. There you go. And <laughs> hmm, how can I keep you safe? Oh, I got it! <laughs> so it's probably a bit drastic, but mm -hmm. where... I I know what spell I'm going to use, but I always get these two confused. Okay. Okay, I am going to use Guardian of Faith. Okay. Oh yeah, it's totally not inconspicuous at all. <laughs> and I am going to oh uh, keep it on my bed and be like oh hi bunny okay here so listen this is super important there's a treasure under this pillow if anyone comes into this room and tries to take this tablet you kill them <laughs> thank you all right Christ. so you have a big white dragon sitting on top of your pillow currently <laughs> yeah i'm like you're welcome to take a nap just make sure you know keep an eye out <laughs> so I don't have the, the token for them right now, but we'll just, yeah, for the sake of this, we'll just... That's okay. All right. So, uh, moving on then. You've, you've found it, managed to unlock most of that. Um, Seraphina, Ooh. if Ev is there, um, you do manage to see as well, as Wisteria leaves, the door open, you can see Rail and Shaheel inside. You can also hear Quill and Wisteria all kind of working their way upstairs. Is there anything you'd like to do currently? Or is there anywhere around the town that you'd like to go, or prep for uh well everyone was kind of frantically walking into the well whatever this is mm. just it, wait what is it is it so hotel? yeah you're kind of in so where you were in the hot springs there's also kind of like uh upstairs and like and like the second floor and first floor or whatever there are hotel rooms essentially this is like for really rich tourists when they come to orc hill and you've been right. given a lot of rooms to, to stay in at the moment. Okay, so um, she's instantly just going to assume that that something was going on outside. So I think that she would head outside to go and and walk around and see if anything is going on. Okay. Uh, cool. Out into the city. Cool. Um. So as you head out, I'm gonna swap back. Um. Is there anything else before I swap maps that anyone would like to do currently, or are you happy enough? Swapping over. Did Cass want to? Sorry, did Shahil want to talk to Rail or? Yeah. Okay. Did okay. Well, I'll, I'll say I won't, I won't swap maps yet, but you do head out. Um, you kind of head downstairs, out to the main doors, and I'll get you to make a perception check as you do check out what's outside on the streets. Alright. Just to see if you can get a sense of what's going on. <laughs> Oh, that's that's an eleven. Eleven. You kind of look around. It's all pretty tame, pretty quiet. You see a few nobles out in the street, kind of because you're in the noble district, kind of like picking themselves up uh, and brushing themselves up, and then fixing like their stalls that seem to be bashed in and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. But other than that, there's no real uh, threats or anything outside. It's all kind of just seems to be kind of everyday people yeah. preparing for for just work and jobs and everything else. Yeah. All right. Does she see the poster? <laughs> I know that'd be more like in the center of town. If you want to continue into the town, and everything you would eventually see that there is a poster um, put up for like a slightly more disheveled looking um, <laughs> um, Shahil, but with like kind of stubble and like thicker eyebrows um, and kind of like you know thinner hair, kind of greasy hair, and then there is. Um, a more kind of like gaunt looking rail as well with um, kind of curly long hair as well. They, they look very similar, but they also look a little off, just these two faces. And you can see that these two figures are impersonating 
uh, Rail and she heal currently, and they're going around. There's warning going around that just to keep an eye out for these people who are impersonating the heroes who saved Orko. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to do anything big before the other needs to talk, but she is going to like. <laughs> she's going to place her hands, both mm-hmm. of her hands on her her hips, and she's going to kind of like squint for a good thirty <laughs> seconds. Mm-hmm. Uh, just really focusing, you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you to make uh, an investigation check. I <laughs> 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 two. A two. <laughs> <laughs> right. As you're there, kind of looking at the poster for a moment, you've got your hands on your hips, you're kind of really focusing. And then this, these two shadows catch your, the corner of your eye and you look over. And for a second, just before they get lost in the crowd, you do see a figure that looks like Rail and Shaheel just kind of disappear off into the this town crowd. It kind of looks hey, similar so- to the, the poster. So she's she's quickly gonna turn around, um, but I'm guessing they're quickly gone. So she's she's just kind of staying there, like um, mm. uh, again with her hands on her her hips, and she's got she's, she's kind of gonna whisper to herself like, uh, "Well, I'll be damned." <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Amazing! Oh my god! <laughs> make one more perception check. See if you can find where those two have disappeared into. <laughs> oh, oh that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be down. So oh, no. What did you get? That's a one. A one. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're lost <laughs> into the crowd. They, like, disappear like ghosts. And for a second, you, like, the wind kind of blows and sends, like, a shiver down your spine for a second. Um, and then you're, you swear that they've just gone, they vanished, these spirits that were to bring Oh my god. <laughs> Terapy to roll so bad. <laughs> I love it. She's cursed like ghostly. Yeah. Literally the opposite of Trill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Alright, so you just have this uneasy, haunted feeling, like, for the next, like, ten minutes or so, like, you have just seen a pair of ghosts. <laughs> oh my god. She's gonna look so dumbfounded and that's it. That's okay. it. Beautiful, that was, that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we're back to the the real rail and scale. Uh, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> um <laughs> Okay. He's just gonna he's just gonna sit there and you know do Still kind of panicking, just kind of looking at the door where Wister just left, and he's gonna slowly turn to Rael, and he's just like, "We should. This is just. I, f- I maybe I shouldn't speak of this again. I, 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 it wasn't really our fault. It was, it was true. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, agreed. Let's <clears throat> let's not speak of this. This was." <laughs> way out of control but it (laughs) it it was funny (laughs) (laughs) he's just kind of standing there shaking his head with his hand on his hips like oh god um (laughs) i was not expecting to to turn up (laughs) well i things what did you do i (laughs) <laughs> so I, you know, I, I called him because I, I thought that, that if, you know, she said you had to be worthy of, of, of the toe, the, the, yeah. the book. And I thought, oh, well, sure, it's a big guy and he's, he's a god. And if, if I showed him, then we would be worthy. But then he, he started getting angry and said he wasn't my puppet and that uh, and stuff. And I just said he should just go back to sleep like always because he has been sleeping. But then he got really, really mad at me and said that he hadn't been sleeping and you know, then he slammed me to the ground, and then he kind of fucked up the lady. But it's... I, I didn't... 
I didn't think he was like that. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, that it... was something else entirely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See at this moment as well. Uh, you watch oh. Rail as Shahil's face just gets squished, as if like an <laughs> invisible hand just squashed his cheeks <laughs> together. And he's like, head is like turned to the side, and she heal. At this moment, you know that you're grabbed by this massive mitten of tear, and he's just swung you around to the side, and he's just standing over you, just like, I've got, I've got a job for you, son. Yes, of course, powerful. Not enough people know about me, they've forgotten about me. And you yeah. see the bed also moving up and down. Uh, Rail is like a massive force, is kind of bounding up and down. <laughs> I want you to spread my name. Let people know I'm back. That tear, the fucking ghost, is not dead. He's very much alive. And he's going to be fucking bringing vengeance upon the fucking every little sucker who's forgotten about him. This, of course. I'll do that. I'll do that too. <laughs> right. And he's like thrown down on the bed, just woof, 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 and he, he disappears. What? Uh, what was I, that? I, I, it... Yeah. <coughs> um. Are you okay? She has face yeah. covered in spittle. <laughs> oh God! He's just gonna like wipe his face. Just, it's just too rush. Just he's just mad that you know people don't remember him. But um, so I'm gonna. I I have to spread. Is the word of him. Um, oh, well, that seems fair enough. Yeah, I suppose. It's reasonable. <laughs> He's just got uh, like a hand over his eyes, just <laughs> looking away, just giggling to himself. Just He's still got like all this adrenaline in him. It's been a long time since he's ever done something like that. So, <laughs> my God, this <laughs> oh, brings back memories. Goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yes, no, no. okay, never. Yeah. Not again. No, no, it was imposter. It wasn't even us. Uh, yes. Yeah. You, that, yeah, the, the scroll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, this is, um. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, should we just get ready for the feast? You know, just. You know, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, sounds... Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll start getting... Yeah. Getting ready. <laughs> I love him so much. He's more and more chaotic oh, every time he's in. He's becoming more and more himself. Yeah. Yay! So, uh, <laughs> I can see where Savion gets it from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so unless there's anything else anyone wants to do before the feast, we can start heading over there. I, I think maybe uh Ev, did you wanna do something? Yeah. We had right. a talk. Do you wanna oh. do you wanna come back and, and talk or something, or are we just going to the feast? Talk to yourself. We're just going to the feast? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. We're going. It's food time. Let's go. <laughs> now, so um, I'm gonna swap over to the Duffy's channel. Two seconds here. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Show us the feast. Show us the feast. <laughs> Order Ramsey's there. <laughs> <laughs> James Oliver. <laughs> so. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Uh, are you an idiot, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry. So, there we are. So, <gasps> the evening kind of settles in, and uh, eventually you meet Ooh. up with the others, and so everyone's getting Ooh. ready. And uh, the Misty Inn has like got banners and everything outside of it. There's a big um, gazebo put up just outside. It's a bit kind of, you know, it's looking a bit rough and everything, but you can see that the the people of Orkill have all kind of um, come together to put together something special for you with whatever they have. And so you all gather up, you all arrive at the door, um, <laughs> and you start heading inside. Like, and, and as you do, you make your way past the gazebo and everything else. There's a few kind of civilians just outside, you know, having 
dinner and whatnot, and they're all just cheering, just like, Hey, it's the PB Rebellion! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you make your way in the door. And uh, you see everyone so far that you've you've met uh, in the city, all kind of gathered together. And as soon as you come in the door, everyone begins cheering, like banging their uh, mugs like on the table and everything. And uh, everyone stands up and hands up their jeer, uh, their their cups and mugs or whatever they have, and they say, uh, "Here's the heroes, PB Rebellion. Welcome aboard. Congratulations!" <laughs> They all start clapping and cheering, and um, music starts playing. You can see these two dwarves um, over to the far left. They begin playing some kind of like really high pitched kind of music and yelling and, and kind of doing like vocal. The, the one, the man himself, he's got a pair of bagpipes, but he's also using a lot of his voice to kind of like create a bunch of different types of uh, you know musical notes or whatever. Um, he's not like singing anything, but. Um, there's also then in the back corner, there's also uh, the rubber geezer robot who's out polished up, still a bit rusty all over, uh, bashed up and everything, but still playing along with the music. Uh, you can see on one table over here to the to the left as well, there's um, freaking Brad Croft talking to another shady individual in a trench coat. They're both kind of just like give you a nod. Um, and he taps like a little pot of mustache cream on the, the counter, like ready to, <laughs> to, to Oscar. Uh, you can see now the family as well, who's making you the big leather bag. There's a kind of half human, uh, half uh, goblin individual mm. there who's kind of got like a bow and he's got the bag and he's got a bunch of other bits. And what looks like his wife and all his kids are all kind of um, dancing around him and he's trying to tame them all quietly. Moving over as well on the main tables, you can see <coughs> Lavender sitting next to Rosemary, um, your sister. There's also the. Um, Biggie lady, um, who is, uh, what is her name again? Blessed. Uh, ca uh, sorry, is it Chamomile? I think it's Chamomile. Uh, no, it's not, it's Celeste. Sorry, you said Celeste. Sorry, I thought you said, I, 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 I thought you said Celeste, sorry. Yes, yeah, Celeste. <laughs> uh, the two innkeepers as well, the giant of a man and the small little woman. Um, you have the egg cult also kind of huddled into the corner, just all cheering and eating egg sandwiches. It's a bunch of other... <laughs> Merchants who work inside the um, shop as well. There's the massive half orc man and his uh, half orc wife, and there's a bunch of gnomes as well sitting at that table. And the rest of the tables are all packed with all these other individuals. There's Goliath in the far corner, talking to a bunch of other kind of workers and things like that. And a noble woman who seems to be a little out of place here, but seems to kind of still want to participate in the festivities and everything else. So. Yeah, you arrive and you see everyone so far that has that you've helped along the way and as you're kind of guided to your tables and um, everyone starts to cheer and, and celebrate your name one by one people start to come over with little gifts that they want to give you um, to thank you for everything that you've done here and for saving their city, their businesses, everything else and the half orc comes over to you with a very long cloak with these kind of like long tentacle parts that come off of it and end in these kind of barbed um, mitts and uh he explains that this is a this is a cloak now of displacement you want to wear this so you, someone tries to hit you you're gonna be over there you're gonna be over there you're gonna be elsewhere it's gonna be hard to hit you i made it straight from the height of displace or beast. This is one of my finest works yet. I hope it solves you well now on the travels ahead. Um, so it gives you this cloak of displacement. Um, I was going to hand it to Shahil. Wear it. Wear it now, uh, please. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll keep it with me. Yes. I'll, I'll put it on when we fight. Yes. See yes. the uh, the egg coats come along as well with a bunch of these, uh, like a tray, uh, like a wooden tray of potion vials all kind of rattling along and uh yeah corgi dane kind of comes up to the rest of you and he's like oh hello there everybody uh this is just a small little gift from uh myself and the others uh, we, we appreciate all the chickens you bought and you know you just seem to be really nice people and you know you, you've gone on some epic quest and just to remember us and give your lives so you can come back here for some more egg egg meetings and all that um these are also left by eggy m she helped make most of these but um, 
Yeah, there's a bunch of lotions and potions for you lot. Uh, mainly all healing potions. We've got some what, uh, three nice little regular healing potions, a couple of, uh, you know, greater uh, healing potions. Then we've got this nice big chunky boy. You down that and you, you're right as rain. I just hope it serves you well and just, you know, be careful. We're, we're going to want you back when, when you when you come back. Uh, all right, it's been lovely. No, no, you guys need kind of waddles off a little shot. Thank you, Thorgy. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what was it that he gave us, sorry? He gave you three, three regular, regular healing. Yeah, two um, medium potions, uh, two greater healing potions, and then one superior healing potion. Greater and one superior. Okay, yes. lovely. And then um, moving along as well, uh, you see the lady, the kind of posh lady, uh, come up to you and she says, Hello? My name is Lady Blackfire, and I heard that you had a bit of a run-in with my husband. And just, you know, on behalf of the Blackvine family, want to, you know, just, just you know, apologize. And would you please take this as, as, uh, uh, just compensation for any wounds or any damage or any, uh, hard feelings you might have against the Blackvine family. A very generous donation in, in towards your cause. And she hands a small uh, chest towards you guys uh, that has 5,000 gold pieces inside. Why are you? Why fashion gold? Oh my god. Oh, bro. <laughs> Thanks, laddie! <laughs> oh, really? Your husband needs to be more trouble to us. <laughs> We're on the lookout for him now. We're going to try and locate him and bring him back here for justice. I think that is. Why do catches me? You know, my husband can't be just flying off now doing whatever after you know causing havoc in this town for so many years. So please, uh, and she gives you like a little curtsy. Uh, forgive the Black Vine family. Not at all, ma'am. Yeah, you're um, forgiven. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I out for him as well on our travels. All right. Thank you very much. We must appreciate it. Um. Eventually then... How did he marry her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you then have... Uh, where is she here? Um, Rosemary eventually makes their way over. Or is there a token? I don't know. It's fine. Rosemary, anyway, the the Rat King. Um, My sister. Your sister. I fucking yeah. just want to grab her token, but she's not even there. So it's just fucking really weird. <laughs> okay. I guess she's just not there. That's cool. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh, yeah. Rosemary. Yeah, so Rosemary comes over and she kind of like puts her like elbow on the table looking at all of you eventually like halfway through the night and she says, uh, Well, hey there, y'all. How y'all doing over here? I, I've been chatting with uh, some of the Thieves Guild and we uh, we put together uh, a carriage for y'all. We got a couple of nice stallions. We got to have pulled the whole thing for you. We got a nice car. We filled it up with nice food supplies for about 10 days worth. We got some five days of, uh, you know, kind of dried food as well. You know, if you run out and you can't get to a town in time. We have we filled it with just general, you know, tents and uh, uh, silks and hides and everything just to keep you warm when you head into Jotunheim. I want to just thank you for giving myself and, uh, and uh, Lavender another chance. I appreciate it and... Uh, yeah. Thank Only you. the best for my family, Rosemary. It's, uh, it's nice to meet you, Quill. Nice uh, to meet you too, again. I've heard a couple of things about you, only vaguely from my own mother, but uh, yeah, it's been lovely uh, to meet you, and I hope you can come back sometime. You're always Hopefully. welcome. When the house is built, you and Lavender could come visit us. I think I'd like that very much, thank you. And, uh, it's a shame about my cousin, uh, Levi, he's, uh, but you know, he, uh -huh. he'd been, uh, worked himself into a bit of rut, uh, <laughs> more these days, he's just a bit of a, chill. he's not your cousin, he's, uh, he, we grew up into the, 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 the orphanage together, and, but, yeah, sad to see someone like him go, but he was, he got so many chances, you know, to, change his ways and amend what was going on but you know, he was just the real jealous type always wanted what That's he okay. didn't have hopefully I, I can find no not at all hopefully I can find his his spirit put him to rest 
He seemed like a nice fella. We got a bit of chatting while he was strangling me, but it was fine. Yeah, um... That may have brought the mood down. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not, not, I, don't worry uh, about it. He, uh, he had a thing, uh... About our dad. He... He, uh... He always wanted to be him, and was... Yeah, he was furious when, you know, he, he wasn't made the, the the Rat King. He always wanted to be the Rat King. And, uh, I suppose he just has a bit of a, uh, I don't know, just wanted to be recognized by a, by a Levick. I mean, I do too. I wish that one day he might uh, just come say hello sometime. But he's uh, one of those guys who, uh, my, my mama said, like, he just was determined to keep moving to keep going on his quest and I know you you lot will too and I can see that same passion in your eyes Quill I know you'll you'll make things right whatever you're doing we've heard small rumors and we heard of what went on in the in uh Inigo's uh party just outside of town and slowly people have been figuring out that you lot are trying to help the rest of the Vale and Gossar and don't really know what to say is sounds scary anyway Hopefully we can bring everything to right. And I'll have a talk with Dad. Because I, I want him to to talk to you guys more. Okay. I know he's busy. He's he's currently doing something. I haven't been able to contact him yet. But okay. hopefully when the house is ready, he'll we'll have a party all together. I'd like that. That'd be nice. Do You don't happen to know if I have any more siblings in this town, do you? I think it's just me and you, honey. Um... Okay. That's as much as I know. Maybe there's more. Who knows? I know your dad, uh, that he traveled all over Gasta for years and years. No one knows how a goblin could have lived that long, but uh, some say that, you know, he made some some dark packs, some uh, dark deals so he could continue searching for what I assume you and, and his wife. Yeah. Most likely. Caught up with him now. Well, oh, if goodness. I find any more siblings, they'll be there too, and we can we can introduce each other. We can all meet up sometime. That'd be nice. Yeah, always wanted a big family. Hmm. Yeah, have a family reunion when you get back. Definitely. All right. Well, have a nice night, everybody. She Thank you, Rosemary. I up. love you. <laughs> Excuse me, he runs around and gives you like a big hug. She's a bit, a bit taller than you. She's about like five and a half foot, but she kind of like, she gives you a squeeze and... Uh, She's gonna hug nice. back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, now you look after yourself. She kisses you on the forehead. Now don't get yourself in any trouble. That wagon should hold tight. It's well insulated. We're, we're working on just the final little details. So you, you can make a bit of a, an impact when you roll up into any town you come by. Oh, Rosemary, if if I may, very quickly. Uh, you, you said the thieves' guild were helping out with that, correct? Yeah, they are. Is there, there is one particular fellow that I'd like to talk to? Okay. Uh, would you be able to send him over when you're done? Uh, sure. Who are you looking for? I I don't know if we got his name. Uh. Do, uh, am I able to just like describe him? Yeah, yeah, we can uh, say you can very much. Uh, yeah. I saw that's uh, that's Alan. I'll go get Alan later. Yeah, he he should be around here somewhere. He said he'd be a bit uncomfortable coming. He's he's been very focused on on bringing this uh, this whole wagon together. I have him to thank for knowing that you need some transport, uh, and he's kind of taken ahead of the whole operation. Uh, but yeah, I'll, 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 when I see him, yes. I'll, I'll drop my send him by your way. Uh, I'm sure you'll see him too when you go pick up the the wagon tomorrow. Yes, yes, I I hope so. Thank you. That's right. that's appreciated. No problem. And uh okay. She just kinda of looks at all you in turn, kinda of gives you all a nod. Um and begins heading off and she says, uh she's gonna sit back by it. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> Do they look okay? Do they 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 look Yeah, they're kinda lovey-dovey. Not lovey-dovey, but they are kind of like close, kind of leaning close to each other when they're talking and things by the table. And you can see as well, like, um, Rosemary's definitely enjoying uh, Lavender being a little out of her comfort zone here in the tavern. And 
kind of <laughs> nervously laughing around the place and slowly throughout the night she relaxes more and more both with the alcohol she's drinking and also just kind of warming up to rosary and realizing it's not actually that bad out of the castle and everyone's very wholesome and nice and coming up to her chatting to her and um a few guards oh, yes. posted around the place do get a bit like on edge but eventually she starts relaxing and telling them to back off so she can speak to the people um yay and <laughs> eventually <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, there's like a big announcement made um, to everyone in the tavern, and they they talk about how. I'm gonna put down my notes here. Just to get it right. But um, essentially, you're cutting out, hun. Sorry, I'm I'm walking away from the mic there. Um, I was just looking for a thingy. So they they decide uh, that night as well that they're going to. The Thieves Guild is going to change its ways, and instead they're going to help uh, to set up a trading post in um, in Orkill. Um, as they did more trade than any of the nobles ever did in the town, and they have a lot of contacts. So the Thieves Guild are now turning into a merchant's guild. Um, and they're going to with the turn the whole refugee area and um, Sorry, they're going to move all the refugees currently into the hotel that you guys are staying in. This is going to be the last time any guests currently stay in that hotel. They're moving all the refugees there. Uh, and they're going to rebuild um, the slums uh, into this trading post and turn it into a merchant's quarters. And they're going to hire all these refugees to um, to work there. Um, and so they... Uh, Yay! They kind so of go nice. on. The Lavender goes on to explain that these guilds, they've trained people into essentially merchants um that's that's essentially what they specialize in they take orphans they take everyone they train them to be thieves and know how to trade and everything else so the thieves guild are now going to train all of these refugees up into becoming merchants and sales people and everything oh yeah um and they're going to try to yeah use all the contacts that all these refugees have from all around gostar all these people have contacts all over the world but they've been forced to live here for different reasons um, and so they're using their contacts, they're all going to turn them into merchants, and it's going to be a merchant's town instead of a, a thieves' town from here on out. Nice. Yay. Oh, that's uh, so wholesome. Yeah. So that's you... Alternate universe, Quill would never. <laughs> 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 and so, yeah, you've, you've managed to save Orko, you've turned it all around, you managed to pair back up the two lovers, uh, Lavender and Rosemary. Um, nice. You've made a great impression between everyone. The also, the, the half-goblin man eventually comes over to you with his bag, and he drops it over to you. The, um, the other guy who's making Grug's outfit says he's going to ship it off to, ahead of you guys uh, towards uh, Cold Snap, if you can stop by there. On the way, and pick it all up, um, and there'll be a package waiting for you there. Um, it just gives you a little warning about uh, Cold Snap not to stay there too long, and don't drink their, their squid brew. Um... <laughs> And yeah, well done, guys. You've uh, finished this whole chapter oh, yeah, in Oracle. And next week, I guess, or yeah, next week, we're going to uh, jump into you guys heading out. Uh, the carriage as well pulls up eventually. We can figure out exactly what kind of colors and everything we want for the carriage. But there <laughs> are two a white horse and a black horse pulling that carriage. And we'll, next week, we'll just jump straight into the next day when you're all about to leave, unless there's anything else you want to do. And I would assume. Real is going to talk to Alan next week. Yeah, yeah next yeah. week. We'll yeah, 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 yeah. For for now, I just want to do one thing. Absolutely. Give him and... money, please, because I was going to do the same thing. <laughs> just let me do my thing. It's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I just want to buy whiskey for me and Shahil. Uh, <laughs> actually, fuck it. I'll buy a round for the table. All right. Hey. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> We'll say it'll cost you about four gold, maybe. Oh, or no, we'll fine. say uh, we'll say eight silver. Yeah, for the whole. Silver. Oh. Silver. Yeah. So it's like about a gold that coin. That should be fine. You know, just for the sake of it, we'll say a gold coin. Gold coin. The only okay. thing Wisteria wants to do is just go up to Riel and be like, "Hey, um, I know the tablet was really expensive, but like, was there anything left over?" Yes, yes, there is. Uh, and I'll give her back the, the uh, 
<laughs> You're getting everything back apart from <laughs> 1,000 G. <laughs> everything back except 1,000 gold. 1,000 gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still have like 970 yeah. gold. She's going to yeah. look at it and be like, You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, you better gonna... have look for me more often. I'll keep my like, I'm gonna keep my eyes on you. I'm just gonna. I'm hey. gonna go get some beer. Right. <laughs> so as you uh, go off and you get some beer, um, eventually another figure walks in to yeah, the uh, to the bar. He's got a hood up, um, kind of looking around, and you see you get a hug uh, just from behind you, Wisteria. <laughs> Oh, he's big. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, he's big. He's giant and he's slow. Oh my god. That's a big father. There we go. So Xavier comes up behind you and just kind of lifts you up and he's like, Hello oh. there, Rysteria. Hello, Ghostly. And he kind of just runs his hair through Ghostly and kind of like shaking her head to the side. Uh, uh, Inigo very graciously allowed me, you know, a day. Uh, it's it's about midnight at this stage. She said uh, he'd allow me a few hours uh, to spend with you guys while we're taking a small break. I thought I'd go in and check in on all of you. It took me a while to find you, but um, nice to see you all. Good to see all your faces. How are you all doing? How are you holding up? Oh, so good. You won't even imagine what happened today. So, Shaheel and Riel. Mysteria. Managed... Mysteria. Uh, Mysteria. Yeah. It's Father's Day. We're, we're at the end of Father's Day. There's, there's are you coming fathers? into Father's Day? It's, it's I thought Father, we I thought we yeah. were already on the 18th because we started. No, no, no. The day we haven't late. we haven't slept. Yeah, haven't oh, slept thank yet. fucking we lord! Prepped. It's not Father's Day. Close is sitting in the corner Why drinking. Is it Father's Day? <laughs> father's Day. Is I believe so. Father's Day Father's Day exist? Uh, no. Well, you don't really have it. A... Yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> I only um, celebrated as a ghost as well. I so. don't know what to do, but happy Father's Day! Happy Hello, Father's it's my first Day one! Day. Hi, nice to it. That's lovely. And then, yeah, yeah you and Ghosty's first Father's Day with your father. Yeah! You gotta sit so, so, wait, 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 I don't have any gifts for you, but I got a gift for myself. Oh, very nice. So, let me tell you all about it. So, basically, Riel and Shahil, <laughs> they went to haggle for me, oh, and they got me this beautiful. Arcane tablet from Arcana herself. So if you know anything about it, like let me know. I have no idea, but that sounds <laughs> amazing, right? I know. I look <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry about this, but she's gonna oh, look at oh, look at this. She's gonna literally just like fly high and grab <laughs> the katana and go look at me. <laughs> look at it. I got a sword now. That's a very expensive like, isn't sword. Isn't it? I'm just gonna like fly really close up to him and be like, isn't it so shiny? It's very shiny. That's style platinum. That's a very, very rare individual aura. You, you can, I you know. If you get really good with psychic abilities, you can mold it as you please. There's a bunch I of can psychic. Mold it. Aye, there's a bunch of psychic knights in Olympus who specialize in molding those blades into different weapons. Oh my goodness. I know. I mean, it's one to practice, you just have to focus really hard. So I need to focus really hard on the on the sword and then it'll do... Uh, it'll, it'll change? I uh, if you have uh, one of the soul stones, you gotta find the soul stone first. I remember Tyr, in my history books, had a few uh, that he used to, to change his blades. So I need to find Tyr to give me a soul stone so then I can choose, uh, can change the katana into a form that I wish to not use. Oh! <laughs> Isn't this so he's pretty? Bit, he's a little bit angry right, right now. <laughs> She's <laughs> angry. Too, uh, so I don't think we should, you know, just... You know Tyr? Uh, yeah, he's the one and uh, he... Shaylee's just gonna pull down his shirt a bit and tap at the ice thing. He's like, yeah, he's the... He's, you know. You have my grandfather inside you? <laughs> Your grandfather? Well, yes. Um, Tyr oh. is Avion's dad, which makes him my grandfather, which oh. means he's inside you. You got my family? Um. Yes. I. Yes. 
I don't know if I should be happy or sad for you. I, I, he's nice sometimes. He's just <laughs> angry right now. He's having his already oh, pressed his ear like to your chest. And he's kind of like tapping <laughs> the thing. He's like, <laughs> that? Oh, oh, <laughs> I, um, I can, I can, I, I'm gonna try and, and ask you. It's like, you, you, I think your son is here. <laughs> 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 Family <laughs> reunion. <laughs> Uh, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> yeah. Persuasion, have... yeah? Yeah. Can I give Bardic inspiration at that? I want him to be here. You don't, you don't need to. I have, I have 12 plus. <laughs> oh! Never mind, don't give me that. Uh, hold on. Uh, that's, uh, 19. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a... rumble. You see a bunch of the candles and torches all around the place just kind of, like, quiver a little bit. And it then begins to snow indoors. Oh. Just snowflakes begin to fall around the place, and Zavion kind of looks around and just has his hands up and just catches the snow in his hands, watches it melt. And just like a single tear kind of rolls down his eye. And he puts Aww. his hand on your shoulder mm. and he just says, uh, uh, You're a good lad. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. I'm sorry for trying to punch you. Uh, multiple times. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. Oh. But it, uh, it didn't hit, so. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I. A lot of people want to punch me. That's uh, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, yeah, I, but uh, yes. thank you for this one, lad. Uh, thanks. It's nice to know You're he's, uh, you know, he's still there, I suppose. Yeah. He is. He kind of leans down and he just kisses your chest, like, on the, the, the circle. <laughs> so uh, weird. He looks like... Away. He's just so, like, panicked. He's like, oh, I get it, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's letting it happen. I'm gonna come back with a massive tray of, like, beers and <laughs> ales and... Uh, <laughs> whiskey! Uh, whiskey! He's gonna head back. You slam it down to the, the, the counter as well, like... Savin's like, oh dear, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, what's it's this good to uh, What's this tiny glass? Is it, is it apple that, juice? And he's gonna no, grab that it is it. for <laughs> me and Cheryl. That's yeah. not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Has she already downed it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're staring. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll but get she's... We're staring to make a con save as your fucking throat <laughs> sets on fire. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, a concert. Wait, it's apple. Why is the it's apple not, juice burning? This, this is oh, not the apple, apple juice. Oh, no, this is That's alcohol, not. Wisteria. That is whiskey. Yeah, I got a six. Yeah, you're, you're coughing and sputtering. Nothing's coming out, like, audible. You just can't, you can't breathe. Like, your whole throat is currently on fire. <laughs> and you are tipsy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> me at a bar. Consistently. <laughs> Shahil is just gonna put his his arm up, and he's like, "Another round of whiskey, please." <laughs> have some water. Have some water. <laughs> okay. Don't don't just take drinks that aren't for you. Okay. Oh, I said it was for me. Can I go fill whiskeys out and just drop the bottle here on the on the counter? Can I help you save that? That's on the house. Thank you for all the the repairs and everything that you've done now for the place. No, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. What can I get everyone? Kyle's gonna pour himself the whiskey. It don't like that. Rael, can I have some, please? Uh, sure, and he'll he'll hand her the the bottle, mm. and uh, he'll look at Shahil and he'll just look at everyone and just raise his glass. Mm. Hey, <laughs> this is a day for celebration. So let's be proud. We did some good things. <laughs> can we stare just quickly whisper to Rael, like, can, can I have something that's not spicy? <laughs> yes. Thank just you. have a toast first, and I'll get you a drink, okay? Okay. You see, um, what's it called? Melody's handed you like a glass of milk. <laughs> she just kind of like strokes your hair a little bit and kind of brings your head down into like her bosom a little bit, just like. Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's not her voice. I just uh, <laughs> have a have a glass of milk, dear. 
that's not her voice at all. I can't do. I've lost her voice. I'm too, like Zavion <laughs> just is like She's all encompassing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's okay. It's okay. We got it. Thank <laughs> you. No drink milk. After Quill is taking some whiskey, uh, Sheila's taking the bottle, and he's standing up, and he's just. <laughs> Supibi Rebellion! Supibi <laughs> Rebellion! Supibi Rebellion! And he's gonna knock it back. <laughs> oh and and everyone give me con saves. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Well, Whisker is gonna down a glass of milk! <laughs> oh, cool. fun. No, yeah! Baby! <laughs> oh, yeah, not 20. Not 20, what? you drink oh, a lot <laughs> throughout the whole night. I got just... a four. A four? You're <laughs> fucking sloshed by the end of this, yes! right? <laughs> I got eleven. Eleven, you're Wait, pretty tipsy, pretty drunk. Is this for the whole night? Uh, yeah, this is for the whole night. Yeah, just okay, to sum it up. Okay, then Mysterious is gonna drink, so let me do a cross. Okay, go for it. The melody. Oh, 18! Yeah, yeah, nice. You and Melody are, yeah! are pretty much sober. You're sober. You kind of like come back around as well with the, the, the enough milk. milk was yeah. healing! <laughs> it was. <laughs> Zavion got a nat one, and Zavion just like is <laughs> oh the, the, like late into the night. It's kind of a lot of you really looking after Zavion, who's just kind of like on the <laughs> dance floor, like just like hugging and kissing everybody, just like I love you. I am Watch of the Bay. He just starts doing like this what he calls the Watcher dance, and uh, just keeps falling over, stumbling, Aww. breaking things. Sets fire to a few things by accident, um, just by coughing and sneezing. I like to think that Wisteria is just literally just copying anything that Zavin does and go like, That's my father! I will be the Watcher of the Veil! And then just firebolt something to copy oh, And be like, Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, We're gonna burn this place down yeah, before we the, finish the party. The tavern is thoroughly wrecked, as everyone <laughs> it just gets very drunk that night. Everyone's just partying. You lot more than anyone, though. Get yeah, very, yeah. very. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, she, Heel, mm. um, <laughs> uh, since he's fucked. Yeah. Uh, he's just kind of like he's been talking a, a lot, just a lot of. Bullshit, you don't really know what's happening. And then he just kind of like leans over Rael, kind of like a cat just kind of laying all over him, you know? Um, like he's so, his motions are so slurred and so weird. He's just like, oh, you know, Rael, it's just, I, I think you're just, I, you're so great, you know? And I, I, and now we have, we have the tassels and they're like, uh, you know, like me and you are like, you know, like it's, ah. Oh. And it's just so great. I'm so happy to have met you, really. You're just so handsome, and it's, your eyes are so good. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, I mean, like, Rail's more or less fine. Like, yeah. he's drunk a lot, but I don't know if he's even tipsy, but he's just. <laughs> He's just looking at Shield. Probably just feels. How is he? How is he laying on him? Is it like from his back or like over his lap? Like how is like, it? Like over his. Like he's laying over his like Rael's lap, like kind of like stretching. You know, like a cat when they stretch. Yeah. He's laying oh like that God. and just looking up at Rael. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he's just kind of <laughs> just playfully patting his cheek with one hand, whilst the other's still holding his glass of uh, refilled whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. He's like, well, that's, uh, that's very sweet of you. <laughs> and he's just gonna, he's real, no, he's gonna, he has a, a, a bottle of whiskey that's just, you know, uh, not full at all, it's empty, and he's just gonna drop it without thinking about it, it just shatters all over the ground. And oh god. He's just gonna put his hands up and kind of grab Rail's face and pull it down and just put their foreheads together, and he's like, I f I think we're gonna do really good, and we are gonna make Demu so powerful, and it's just <laughs> oh, I'm so, I want to sleep. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god! He's just he's <laughs> he's quite a caught cool off guard. Like he's immediately like whatever tipsiness was in there, he's fucking sober. He's <laughs> 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 just kind of. Um, he sees cheeks flush a little bit, like, uh, oh, yeah, here we are. 
<laughs> he's just gonna playfully put his hand over his face like, oh my god, just shut up. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> Out of curiosity as well, what did Serafina get for their con save? If Serafina is drinking. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, she she got 13. Okay. <laughs> So you're you're kind of like the same level as like um, Quill, where you're just like you're softening up. You're more uh, charismatic for sure. Definitely loosened up and relaxed for sure. But you're not like, you know, completely shit faced. You're 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 nicely drunk. <laughs> 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 Your confidence is definitely boosted, and yeah, tongue is definitely loosened up as well from the the alcohol. But yeah, <laughs> so you keep yourself together. Quill is on the dance floor, by the way, with okay. her sister and <laughs> her <Perfect>. sister's girlfriend. <laughs> Absolutely, that's, that's great. Just kind of forced him to come down. Like, come, come, come. Let's go down. So he is going to, if I can, mm. just kind of, he's with his foot, just kind of kick Serafina a bit. <laughs> uh, like, gently. He's, he's just, <laughs> like, like, just like that. And he's like, you know, I do. Uh, you seem so angry all the time. It's not worth it. I've been there so like just let go of it like what's happening who are you even who are you <laughs> oh my god she she's gonna grab uh his leg just kind of pull him over and then grab him by his his, uh, his shirt like by the neck hmm. just kind of pull him in and just kind of like glaring a bit like uh, look really fuck serious. <laughs> but after a hot second, she's just burst into <laughs> laughter like... <laughs> You're not as bad as you seem. You know, I... I you, uh, I was wrong, you know? And... Uh, uh, maybe... Uh, you're not as bad as the others. You know? Not... Uh, she's gonna kind of down the rest of her drink. Uh, <laughs> I can you make another con save. <laughs> 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 uh, as she's uh, saying that, she's like, "Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be grand." And you know what, Starfina? I think we should drink. Let bring me another. Bring me another. Seven. She got a she got a nat one. Oh well, no, yeah. you just melt. Like after that, you just knock that back. Any control over yourself that you had just like melts away, and just everything <laughs> kind of. It sounds like you're underwater all of a sudden, and you're seeing like you know everything like super slow frame. You turn your head, and then like a couple of seconds later, your vision moves, um, and catches <laughs> up with you, and everything is rosy and dandy, and yeah. <laughs> I would, if Seraphine is not drinking the drink that Shahil ordered, I'll drink it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Shahil, let's just plaster himself as rail slap. He's not moving and he's just drinking. <laughs> okay, he's not I'll, staying off them I'll thighs. I'll Shahil as well to make me one more constitution check. Hey! Am hey. I doing? Am I doing? Am I doing? Yeah, you it? make me one. Yeah, make me huh? one. Well. Okay. Yeah, can sure. Quill drink as well? She yeah, wants you can be, be you're on the bench, so you're say, yeah. This is like <laughs> late into the night now at this point. This is kind of. Uh, I got too confident. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, that'll be enough. So you've gone now from tipsy into drunk now. You're kind of, you're stumbling around the place and you have now, uh, you know, you're, you have negatives, um, you have a disadvantage on all your dexterity checks, but you're like, <laughs> your strength checks are like bolstered completely. You're like, you feel nice. like you lift anything, you're like you can punch anything you want. Um, but you're stumbling all over the place now when you go and get more drinks and stuff. You just, you just can't put like one foot in front of the other properly. Um, what did Shahil get? 13. Oh, you're you're slowly starting to black out as well. You're just like, everything. <laughs> you're fading in and out of consciousness. You'll start, you watch Shahil just like once they just wander off like outside. And he's like talking about how he's got to like, you gotta, I, I gotta go find the magic sword. And like, he's just, and then he just, pulls his dick out and just starts pissing like in the ground <laughs> <laughs> nice. and he's just out there for like 10 minutes peeing straight and then eventually your consciousness comes back and you're outside just peeing in the streets and like a few people just pass you by and you see for a split second one guy who looks exactly like you just with massive dark eyebrows and like a prickly beard and he kind of just like nods in your direction and walks off 
um, <laughs> make your way back in. Everyone else is happy dancing around the place. And, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I just want to say, Rails, like, uh, he's sitting, but his head is, like, face down on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I was I was wondering, um <laughs> Sir Finna could like uh well wait, is Shahil back? Uh, yeah, like... he would have stumbled back in like in the doorway. Uh, <laughs> she's just gonna kinda like slam her her hand on the table, just kinda falling a bit over, mm. having a really hard time like opening her eyes, uh kinda swaying from side to side. <laughs> she's gonna point at Rail and just, just go uh, uh I'm gonna get those imposters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna kill those imposters, you know. I was <laughs> 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 just, he's just, you just see his head just slowly turn, like cheek pressed against the table. <laughs> and he's like, it's really kind. He's gonna stumble up and he's just gonna give her a hug. <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Probably gonna slump down I... and get like, I am. <laughs> oh my god. I got 15 on the con. 15? Yeah, you're all in it together pretty well. You need to drink a lot to like start getting drunk. You can absolutely do that. Like, you can intentionally get very drunk but you just you go through he just a lot to get drunk enough where mm. like she's like dancing really well mm -hmm. give me a performance <laughs> <laughs> doing like the the fucking sprinkler in the middle of the dance <laughs> <Yeah. floor. laughs> no natural seen... 20 baby yeah, no one has ever seen the sprinkler before <laughs> and it's just you just pull it out of your ass like on the spot and all of a sudden it just turns into like a Bollywood dance scene where like everyone's gathering up on the tables with you just doing the sprinkler at the same time and you've just invented this totally new dance move that everyone can do. And everyone starts making sound effects just like ch 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 <laughs> And everyone starts like clapping in circles and the whole like, yeah, everyone just is on this table like dancing alongside of you. Like everyone who can, like Brad Croft hops up as well, like dancing alongside you. You got, you got uh, a be uh, bend over. What? Vandover, <laughs> this is Vandover over here. I thought he was uh, asking Celeste me. Celeste <laughs> comes up to say, um, uh, the, the goblin man, oh uh, Brian God. Gray is up here. Sally, Sally Barber is the wife oh of the guy. God. She's up there dancing and, and then uh, Hilda, the, the musicians playing away. We got, uh, Gore. Who's the fucking like? He's like an alchemist. Uh, <laughs> Goliath. Oh my god! Imagine if they all just started doing fucking river dance on <laughs> yeah, the you table. Also just, you also are like dancing in sequence with Quill just leading the entire crowd and everyone's just like. Dancing so well. She's gonna yeah. jump off the table like at the end of her dance sequence <laughs> and go over to Gog. Like, come, come, come! We have to. Come on, let's do it. But you guys are all acting very strange. <laughs> I don't know about this. He's been getting like natural Ugh. 20s the whole Ugh. time. Ugh. 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 Okay. Do the, do that. Do that dance. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the dance? Yeah, the dance. The dance. Okay. Let's do a dance. Alright, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> do you, performance you need melody. <laughs> For doing oh, two yeah. that. Melody! Melody, come here! <laughs> he kind of grabs her like by the scruff, he just brings her over. And Melody is perfectly sober. She's been keeping an eye on Oscar. <laughs> and she's like, oh dear, okay, okay, okay. And she starts to like sway kind of like, uh, you know, a little nervously and a little more rigidly. And, and Grog is also kind of doing the same actions. The both of them just do not match up with the same energy in the room currently. Uh, but eventually they do start to, to relax into it and they start to dance and like shaking their hips and basically doing like a uh, like a the hula but like um, you know what's gonna call it you know um, where you grab your nose and you kind of do like the underwater thing and you kind of like <laughs> <laughs> and they're like shaking their hips like the, the dance. what's the, what, the dance from the movie yeah I was yeah. thinking where they took their shoes off 
And they're doing the weird wavy dance. I don't know what the fucking movie is. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, it, everyone's now in sequence, like, playing off the other person. And eventually everyone's kind of just in this zone where they just, like, everyone's in sequence. Like, everyone's just kind of in the same mindset of the same dance moves. And everyone's just dancing, uh, partying. Um, and amongst all this as well, like, the music starts to get a little quieter as the night goes on. And uh, Lavender and Rosemary are now kind of just, like, holding each other, kind of swaying with each other. Um, oh. And you slowly as well realize throughout the night that um, um, Rosemary and um, Lavender are both uh, capable of casting spells. So they both, one shrinks himself slightly and the other one like uh, makes himself oh. grow a little bit. So they're kind of at the same oh. height and they have their foreheads together just kind of swaying. And oh, it's like... the couple's <laughs> dancing. <Yay! laughs> oh. That's so cute. Oh, <laughs> God. I, I'm going to say that Wisteria does run back to Royale and goes, Hey, hey, I want to try this spicy stuff again. I think I'm capable. No. I want to do it. He's like holding the bottle, but like pointing at Wisteria like, no. Oh, I say, I, I come here. And he has to like, <laughs> oh, oh, I she she No. Ah, oh, okay. she's, ah, oh, she'll, she'll be grand. Do I need a cup? <laughs> nah, you, <laughs> you, 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 you just crap. <laughs> You drink okay. it up, up with it, and he's gonna put it okay. the bottle to your lips and oh. just okay, you pour make it out. A can't oh. save with disadvantage, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rail's gonna cup, get up and like bottle. stumble over. Okay. Like, <gasps> <gasps> wait, 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 guys! Oh, I am so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I got <laughs> two natural ones. Oh, wow! <laughs> Holy crap! You stumble Thank over, you. Rail. You get up. And you just like completely collapse over the chair, like fall flat in your face and kind of roll over back onto your feet. Kind of stumble backwards into to, uh, Wisteria, your elbow goes down on top of the bottle and just like shoves back. Like Wisteria's kind of like finishing up, like putting it away. You shove the bottle back into Wisteria's face. And then Wisteria just, in your arm, she heal. Like you feel like Wisteria just kind of going looser and like more floppy until she just like collapses, like rolls out of your arm onto the floor. And we say you're like trying to find where you are. <laughs> like your vision is fuck. You can't. You just see blurs of color, um, and the whole world is just spinning rapidly fast. So um, he's just gonna look down at Wister and just like, ah, and he's gonna look up at Rail. He's like, she's, she's, be, she's gonna sleep so well tonight. I remember my first time drinking as well. It was lovely, and it, it'll be nice. She can just be quiet for a bit, and yeah, have a good night. Guys, where did you go? I do. It's fine. Just close your eyes. I go to sleep. I'm, I think I'm in the meadow. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try and hey. pick her up, but he's probably going to end up stumbling into <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I see a light. Oh, sorry. sorry was that Seraphina? Was, yeah, it was Seraphina. I was just wondering if uh, Seraphina could help with that. Uh, <laughs> picking up a <laughs> yeah. okay, give me give me a dexterity saving throw with a disadvantage or just a dexterity check with a disadvantage for Seraphina. oh Mysteria is probably just stumbling around going I think I see a light guys should I work towards it don't walk towards the light we can bring you back if you die <laughs> as, okay I'm gonna walk towards it as Seraphina no! is doing that you start to see this light this kind of golden light and you now start to see this kind of twisted figure of these two your two gods now just kind of squashing together as the world's spinning and their like heads are kind of like there's two faces now kind of looking at you just like laughing maniacally he's just like <laughs> and they're like as you watch and they're also spinning around just like in this uh vortex around you um what did seraphina okay. get in that save uh you know what <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, well, and that one. And that one. So you, you go, you bend down, you kind of like, you're like lowering yourself very steadily, like down towards Wisteria, and you're like, you kind of, you got yourself in a squat position now, and then eventually you just like, you lean forward, you tip forward, you just fall straight, like face front down on top of Wisteria, like face just like squashing into Wisteria. <laughs> um, and you're, you're just, yeah, everything fum tumbles forward, like your sword kind of falls out of the hilt and everything. <laughs> Oh, I, oh guys, god. Guys, I think this is the end of me. I feel uh, pressure. I think, I think I'm gonna... I think this is the end. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. No, no bubbles, I love it. I just pass out. <laughs> <laughs> help, help me get a... 
he's just gonna grab Shadow's wrist, like, help me get Seraphina <laughs> up. <laughs> I, had to, I, 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 I can't even lift, lift my crossbow. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get that. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Seraphina's just gonna lift up her head and just, just go, uh, uh, Oh, no, no, we, we, we'll, we can sit. It's... We can sit right here. <laughs> okay. It's that, that way, but yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna scoot herself over to the table and just kind of lean up against it. <laughs> I mean, you're tall enough to almost sit at the table, like, without a chair. Yeah. Like... <laughs> 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 and um, if it's possible to just kind of pull Wisteria, um, so <laughs> limp, kind of limp. between her legs, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold her there, like, resting on your lap. <laughs> She's not so bad. Oh, She's gonna cover his face like, I've had too much to drink. Real! Real! Join us! Goes no, I, I, dancing. <laughs> oh, we're gonna dance. No, I can't. We have to. Do that. You have just, to dance. Well, well, just follow me. Just, I have one leg and I can dance. Just follow me. <laughs> <Dead dancing>. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, He's that's just it. Gonna flop oh. against him like. <laughs> nice. All right, and slowly, the night. Comes a blur. <laughs> <laughs> no one remembers anything. We wake up half undressed. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, yeah. you all to roll on the drunken table to see what happened to you last night. Uh, yes. Next oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, Kalia, please. <laughs> Do we need to add anything, or is just no? You're no, gonna. We're, we're gonna reveal that next week. We're gonna see oh, exactly yeah. what happened to you. Let's um, go. Oh God. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Concession. It's gonna be Concession. interesting. Mysteria waking up and her limp body is just on top of Seraphina's lap, like. <laughs> <laughs> it depends if that's how you end up staying. Oh god. Can you imagine? She just ends up in a different town or something because she directly <laughs> flew over there. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some soup. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> never, comes back. never comes back and that's how Mysteria <laughs> left the party. Oh my god. Great. Well, thank you for everyone out there who's been watching this far. Uh, we'll thank have a you. lovely night, rest of the weekend, and we'll see you back here next week. See you next Bye. week, guys. See you next week. Thank you.